Hello everyone and welcome to the last race of round two of the this year's Let's Go uh, Pikachu EV uh, Any% percent tournament, no, no man's gifts tournament. Um, as I said, this is the last race and uh, we're, we're, it's going to be a good race, uh, some very close runners. Um, I'm not alone here today with commentary, it's not just me, it's, uh, I also have Crisis here and Phoenix, hi. Hello, hello to everyone except Archer 2. And I would like to say the same, but I also like to include uh, Giovanni 3 in that statement too. Fair. Okay. Um, well, our three runners, um, the last three runners, as I said, uh, we have uh, Poké Taxi, um, we have Alwo, uh, and we have, uh, where is Yazarian. Uh, yeah. Yazarian, yeah. It's okay, these are all tough to say. Um, so I'm going to shorten to Pokétax. I think last round we used Allo, close enough, and Yaz or Yazarian, depending on how I feel. So now, now we've all got that sorted. Uh, I think our racers are going to be starting not too long from now. I mean, thank. I mean, well, I think we're all European, so you could be like, you know, European names can be a bit hard to to you know say sometimes. But you know, if you're European like me, it becomes a little bit easier. And I, am I an honorary European today? Uh, for the next three hours, yes. Sounds great. Uh, I really like Platzi Jalminaki. Great. I've been here. We are going to be beginning this race uh, in almost any moment. Now, actually, just, just right now. Yeah. Uh, I do think that one of our feeds are a little bit slower than the rest, but, you know, I think they all start at the exact same time. So welcome That's to... Okay. The final race of this round, not the final race of the tournament. We still have another two rounds to go before a top cut. And if you haven't seen this game, uh, first off, where have you been the last three weeks? We've been doing this entire game this entire time, but if you haven't, this is Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Uh, Pokemon Yellow Spiritual Remake. Uh, and we have, and it's a bit different from other Pokemon games because we have a lot of uh, interesting mechanics that we're going to go through. Uh, the entire game, like of course the choice of the game that people have picking. One of our runners have picked an Eevee, and two of our runners have picked Pikachu, which does have, at least for the first two hours, a different, uh, different strats that both of the versions use. Also, shoutouts to Yazarian for picking Girl Three, which, according to I think it was the Pokemon TV show, uh, is the canon for the character in this game. So let's go. Also, shoutouts to Poketax Attorney for only for having the only female starter right now. At least I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yazarian's Eevee is a boy. I wasn't actually paying attention. Uh, what? What? Which? Obviously, we know that one of them picked Girl Three, which I have timed uh, picking. Uh, Girl Free is not only is slower by 14 frames to pick. Oh, okay. Uh, well, Aloe also picked Girl 1, so there's that. Oh, that's seven frames lost. And well, so we I, all... guess I, I, I don't think the race will get down to that. I hope not, but if it does, that would be pretty fun, because yeah. we're hoping for a nice exciting race to close out round two today. Yes. So all our runners, they do basic settings, uh, tech speed to fast, turn battle animations off, you know, all, all the normal Pokemon stuff, which has been sadly taken away from us ever since uh, Legends Arceus, but you know. Rip switch mode. Or set, rip, rather. Okay. Set rip, no rip, animations. Rip, rip set mode and rip battle animations, you know. Yeah. We have but, you know, some of the battle animations don't look that bad, and, but in fact, for sadly, we have to pick the faster one. But we don't have to worry about our battle animations here. Imagine this game having to have battle animations turned on. That would be an interesting speedrun. Oh, no. Having don't, to make me think about, don't make me think about, like, taking the, the time it takes for each animation into account when we pick our moves. That sounds awful. Well, that might be the future. Uh, anyway, so Poketax and Ala were both we're both gonna have Pikachu's. So if we see twenty seven CP, we'll know that their Pikas are neutral, which means that they don't have to worry about having any like minus attack or minus special attack. If they're not, oh well. And of course, for Yazarian, we'll just have to wait and see what we get. Yeah. So I'll explain CP in a in a moment. So we see. I did not see Poketax. I so think sadly. it was twenty six. I think they're both twenty six. And also Joy-Con moment. So, in order to catch Pokemon, you need to throw Joy-Cons. And uh, Joy-Con motion controls have uh, fun funky... They, they're just jank, sometimes. That That's the best way to describe motion controls in this game. At least in my opinion. 
they sometimes work and they sometimes don't. But to, com to, to combine CP, many people say that, you know, CP is, has a lot of different names. I just call it combined power because it just combines all the stats together. Many people will call it other things, but that's what I'm calling it. At the end of the day, it's just an arbitrary number that means nothing to most people. Yeah, and at the end of the day, um, CP only tells you, like, the overall IV um, uh, that everyone has. And so it's like, oh, your IVs are over the average. So uh, on average, everything's over 15. That could still mean you have something maxed out and something at zero. So as we'll see later when we switch mains, it means basically nothing. Yeah, that's why I say combined power. Wow. I don't think that's its actual official name. I have to ask the Pokemon Go players. I, I think, think it's, it's actually combat called points. Com it's combat power, that's what it's called, I remember. So we are seeing Yozarian checking the nature, it is a quirky? I missed whatever it was. Um, so Yozarian was sassy. Was sorry, attacks is sassy, and Owl does not check. Who or needs to check? No, uh, apparently Owl doesn't need to check because the other two runners did. I believe that... Sassy is plus special defense minus speed. Pikachu doesn't really have to worry about... I think it's only one fight Pikachu has to worry about speed on, so that's going to be totally fine for yes. Poke Attacks to take. Um, I want to say that if it's quirky, that's uh, neutral. Uh, yeah. So no worries for Yaws. I didn't see characteristics for any of our runners. Some of them checked so fast. I mean, you, you, we all know the solution of a bad uh, nature, right? It's called getting a chancy. It's fine. Yeah, any sort of big experience will fix most of your problems in this game. So a Chansey, um, something supersized off of glowing, you know, we'll just go for things that look shiny and pretty and hope that that's what we get today. I can confirm that Quirky is a neutral nature. It is actually technically plus special defense minus special defense because this game doesn't technically have a neutral nature. It's just yeah. they just apply the 10% to the same stat twice, so... I am also looking at that chart in the notes. So yeah, it is. So yeah, quirky is just a neutral, new, neutral nature, which is completely fine and acceptable, especially for a race. Obviously, we would like to see plus attack or minus, plus attack or plus special attack for either of our runners. And the natures that we don't want to see is obviously minus attack or minus special attack, and in Eevee's case also minus speed, because Eevee is not the fastest thing alive. It's not. Um, so there's a couple of more fights for Eevee where it's going to matter if you're minus speed. Um, thankfully, we won't have to worry about that. And hopefully, hopefully Ozarian gets good experience or good AVs. Because AVs, um, you get one every level up and it's, it's random, quote unquote, per level what it is that you get in AVs. But every 10 levels, the cycle that you get does repeat. Um, so hopefully in the first 10 levels, we will see Ozarian get some AVs in places that matter, like attack, special attack, and speed. And we're not going to see six freaking defense AVs and like four HP AVs. I think someone I was watching recently got that and it's like, oh good, you're not gonna die to the Persian. That's great. Just wanna Very healthy. Give, yeah, just wanna give a quick note on Poke Attacks is a sassy nature. It is plus special defense minus speed. Minus speed for Pikachu is mostly fine. There is one yeah. fight that you do not outspeed, which is uh it's the goal bat on it's Archer One's Archer? goal bat. Archer one, yeah. <laughs> So that's the only Pokemon you don't outspeed, unless you have, of course, enough speed AVs. And plus special defense, eh, not the most useful, but it can be he handy here and there. Uh, it can be. Uh, I, I would argue it's more useful on Eevee, probably. Um, just because the Persian can be really risky on minus defense. We're talking about the Persian in Rocket Hideout yeah. on Giovanni 1. Um, I've actually died to that Persian just because I had minus defense. So, you know, it's not great. Yeah, Pikachu has a different strat for that. Uh, anyway, we're getting the most important item from the game, uh, from the game, which is the sportswear. We are absolutely going to be changing into that at some point. I thought you were going to say that uh, talking with your partner was the god item, which, like, I mean, true. It's cute. No, it's a sportswear. Oh, fair. That's yeah, different. we're going to change I mean, we have to that later. We have to. If we change clothes to sports, uh, it, I believe, increase movement speed by one percent. Oh, it's like when you're playing an MMO, you get boosts for doing that. Oh, that was a yeah. great Pidgey evasion on Yazarian's part. And there's an Onish going right for poke attacks. So hopefully they can avoid that on the way. Yeah. 
one thing I want to keep a note is uh, because of experience gained, Eevee does not level up here, but Pikachu does. So if you are Pikachu, this is the time where you check your stats. Not important for your Zarian or, or, and not important for poke attacks because uh, they've already checked their stats. But for Owo, definitely more important as we do not know the nature of Owo. And we know for a fact that because Owo is 26, one nate 26 CP, one nate one thing is boosted and the other is not boosted. So True. We're hoping to see at least Ooh. for both attack and special attack, not like 14 or higher. Or 14 at least. So that was 16 for the attack. I think that's normal. And I think I saw 17 for special attack. Uh, was, 14, was it 15 base or 14 oh. base? One I think 14 special attack. So that's... So then I must have seen the defense or something. So I think it was special attack AV, but I think it's... Uh, uh, from what I've heard from seeing chat, is mild? Oh, actually, no, that would be really good if it's mild. mild it was definitely minus defense. Good. It was definitely um, minus defense. I did also see the poke attacks got a special attack AV, so that's pretty nice. Um, because I know that special attack comes into play, I think it's in the in like the later part of the Pikachu section. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So it is I've been told and confirmed that Owl has a mild Pikachu, which is Plus special Wonderful. attack and minus defense, which is real, which is very good. That's pretty good, yeah. I guess like maybe dicey in a couple places, but oh yes, and uh, Sandy saying got an AV as well, so that's pretty spicy. Yeah, so mild minus defense is not actually that big of an issue with P with a Pikachu. Typically, Pikachu doesn't really take hits at all. It's either if it takes a hit, you'll be surprised if it actually lives one. That makes so, sense. But with peak, but with uh, plus special attack, you see. Oh wow, it's being really windy here. Uh, with plus special attack, you have advantages in the early game as Thundershock does deal more damage and you could potentially get like a two turn uh, Jesse and James one with plus special Ooh. attack. Yozarian getting an early Pikachu uh, at level six too. Wow, let's go. Um, so in Eevee, you can catch a Pikachu, which is, you know, you can't do that in uh, eat Pika because that would be slow. Um, but it's really good for Yazarian. I think this is before the Pidgey Trainer as well. So if if he was feeling fancy, he could two C the the Pidgey Trainer, which could let you save a turn and not have to worry about sand attack. So that's pretty nice. And it was enough to get get him an entire level of experience. So that's pretty good. Love to see a good high level early Pikachu. Yeah. As I mentioned also before, like plus special attack on Pikachu is also very useful in the mid game during the whole yeah, Giovanni yeah. section when you get Thunder when you get Thunderbolt. But of course, in Pikachu version, you don't have to worry about the Pidgey because, well, you, you one shot it, it, which is very really? nice. Oh, you one shot it unless you're minus special attack, in which case it's actually I believe a fifteen and sixteen to not get the one shot. Well, fifteen and sixteen. Come on. I've missed it. Trust me. I believe you, you have. Yeah. That. And then you get sand attacked, and then you just miss a bunch of thunder shots in a row, and then you just cry. Ah, yes, that's when you reset the game, right? Yes, one of many places. Uh, <laughs> but now we've seen Owl get himself a lore, and the reason why we want to lore is because everything that spawns at not only does it increase the spawn rate of Pokemon, but everything that gets lord gets spawned at their maximum level plus one. So as we see with this Oddish, it's going to be level seven because the maximum level here is six. Six plus one is seven last time I checked. Holy oh, crap, be a glowing Beedrill. That, don't catch that, but wow, no. think of the experience. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend people. No, catching. don't do that. Don't do that, I'm joking. Uh, Poke attacks and Aloe both getting their first catch. Aloe getting an Oddish, um, which is good, I think, because he caught it first. Which yes. means that you can level it up with your catches, and it'll be just as good-ish as getting it on Route 2. Is that right, Crisis? Yes, that is uh, correct. So, you want to get yourself an Oddish at some point. It's either you want to get an Oddish as your first catch in the forest, so that it can become at the very ideally level 9 before you fight Brock, or if you want to try your luck with uh, slots or, or roulette, I guess, you can... Um, Go for Route 2 Roulette. No. Yes. Yes. It is Route 2. And you can try and go for a level 9 Oddish outside. So, and Oddish is going to be important for Pikachu as it's important for the next gym. Uh, Eevee also needs a, a Grass type Pokemon because the game does not allow you to go in until you get yourself a Grass type Pokemon because. So true. Or Water type, but uh, here's a fun fact. Uh, here's a question for you all. Uh, what Water Pokemon can you catch uh, before uh, Brock? I know the answer to this. It's no. You, you can trade them. 
I uh, also, did see uh, this area right had now. a Bulbasaur spawn. Yes, there was a there is a frick. There is a frick. Yeah, as the cultured among us know it as a frick. Uh, that's pretty cool to see. We we love a good frick. We'll see if uh, Yozarian chooses to pick it up. Uh, I think I Owl's still missing one of them. No, Owl's not missing one of the bugs. Um, I'm not sure because Allo hasn't actually updated their tracker yet. Um, and that's okay. It's early. Sometimes people don't touch it until they get to Brock or they have an evolve menu. So, um, yeah, no, I think, I think there was, there was the Oddish and then at least, well, we got a Weedle on screen, so that's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, now we just got to bring out the second controller. Um, Allo is a bit of a newer runner, so you, you can definitely see the, the fumbling around with the controllers there. Um, yeah. also something oh. I... Yeah, Pokedex is doing the roulette now. I was and thinking oh, leaving, with on, leaving with only three pokes is even for, for Pikachu, that's pretty low, but... It's it's like, sometimes that'll happen, from what I understand, but yeah, he got a, a Oddish early on, so that's cool. Um, that's what you want to see. And yes, Yazarian is going for the Frick. Let's go, let's go. He's staying. Uh, oh, I guess you're not going to ride. Okay, that's fine. Normally I, mean, I would grab the he, trick, but... I can see that Yaz went for like the quick cycle because it attacked and it went right for the excellent. Uh, paid off because it got in. Let's go. You don't get the bonus for using a Raz, but that's okay. Just interesting, Alwa is also choosing to get himself a Forest Pidgey. Not something that I would, you know, be seeing on a daily, daily basis. If but, it you know, runs it's into you and or you need the experience, I'm not sure. running it. towards it. Yeah, oh, I okay. think I, the experience, but, what you know. I. What I think here is like if we look at these runners and their experience, like and like for the round one times, uh, Yuzarian, um got second place uh, in his round with like a three oh seven ten in the first Ooh. race. Uh, Poketex got a three eleven twenty five, also finished second, and um, Aldo got a three thirty five thirty three. Ah, okay. Uh, and also getting second because someone DNF'd. So, ah. so a little less experience than the other players. At least that's what the times suggest. Um, yeah, that, I wouldn't that get said, Owo being like. No, I absolutely people. wouldn't. Like, if you see his records on his other DS games, in the other Pokemon games, and he he he's like definitely someone who can absolutely, if given time, just learn this game and probably trash all of us. In one oh note. yeah, and I know that Al has been practicing, so. Definitely wouldn't count, wouldn't count him out. I can just see, like, there's a couple of things that tell me a little bit less experience than some of the other runners, but that's okay. Like, what happened in that round one, if someone DNFs, Al is gonna maybe take second or first, right? So, yeah. um, all, it, all it takes is one one bad or one good route. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with catching some Pokemon like that early in the game. Um, this allows him to catch a Pidgeotto on Route 17 without too much worry. Uh, so th that means that you can evolve that into Pidgeot, so you're still, like, your catches are still open, you're not closing yourself off too much. Uh, and this gets you a little bit of early experience. His Oddish hit level 10, so that's going to be a little bit easier on the Brock fight, and I believe the Sandshrew fight uh, in Brock Mount fight. Moon? Uh, the, so at level 9, uh, it is a range depending on what your Oddish's special attack is, which you do not get to see, so you're just going right. to have to hope you hit the range. Level 10 is guaranteed. Uh, oh, I'm Oddish. learning so much about Pikachu this, yeah. this tournament. Yeah. Normally, typically, you tend to pick if you want to go for the Pidgey or Glowing Pidgey. You typically tend to um, do it in route like a route two in, kind in, of thing. Route two because they are two levels higher, so it right. typically gives you more experience. But you know, Glowing Pidge is still a Glowing Pidge. Yep. Uh, I'm also a big fan of catching um, a Glowing Rat Rattata on route two if you see one, um, especially in Eevee if you don't have a ton of experience because it just gets you. Um, closer. I think it's level 13 where you can skip a tail whip in Eevee. Yes. So if you do see a nice glowing rat and you're like level 11 or, or more, you're like, well, it would be rude not to. Because uh, rat Raticate is um, a really high experience catch. So I'm down for catching a Rattata and then a Raticate later. You did, I find that's pretty good. You, you did say that, though. Yozara did see a glowing did rat. did see it and walked right past it. I know. He's he's making a liar out of me. Um, I I mean, everyone's got their own preferences, right? Could be looking yeah. to get that experience so, on Route Glowing rats give you experience, and also getting Raticate does give you experience, but later on you can also just catch a rat and don't have to worry about catching a Raticate. So it is experience versus convenience. Yep, no, and both are completely valid, right? Um, yeah, so... and, and, and for me, like, as an EV, like, a, the more experienced runner, uh, EV runner here, um, yep. I've only had a level 13 at Brock once. 
Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. It's, so it's, it's definitely it's very like, rare. Even a glowing red probably wouldn't do it. It would have been like a, a super glowing red to give enough EXP. It's uh, it's oh, not those... it's not fair. Yeah. Although speaking of Brock, uh, we're both uh, both is there and our uh, the Brock fight Poke attacks actually just beat Brock. Uh, Pikachu strat uh, absorb and just have fun. Uh, Yazara, uh, EV, bit of a slower strat. You have to double kick twice the Geo Dude, and then you also have to then Tail Whip plus double click the Onyx. We have mentioned earlier that if you are level thirteen, you can skip that Tail Whip, but I don't think this. Yeah, this EV is level no, eleven. No, it's only so eleven. Can, yeah. So you cannot skip. The tail no. Whip. Uh, it's a little bit slower, um, and we saw that I think Yozarian had a little bit of trouble finding good Pokemon to spawn in Forest. So, you know, a little bit slower at the moment, but that doesn't mean much of anything. It's 19 minutes into the run, the run is 3 hours plus, so there's a lot of time for things to settle out in terms of catches and, and how far we're getting from the game. Not, so. not to mention uh, Mount Moon and Rock Tunnel exist. Exactly. Uh, Mount Moon and Rock Tunnel. Rock Tunnel in particular, and Route 10. Let's not forget, Route 10 is where good runs go to die. I mean, I mean, all runs die in catching sections, let's be honest. It's, it's not it's really the fight. Close. Yeah. Not really the fight. Uh, with the exception of the, like, the end game, fights is not really yeah. where the run dies. I, I'd, say most, I'd say most runs die to starter. The, yeah, the I EV think side. that's correct. For sure, yeah, because it, what, it's 42-ish yeah. percent to get a runnable EV? Uh, also, look at that sand true. We love a good early catch bonus. Yeah. So let's get two things real quick. Uh, one, uh, all of our runners are going to be doing some shopping here. We're going to be buying some great balls. Uh, Sentry being a troll here, but we're going to buy some great balls. Some X, uh, one X item, one X special, and one X attack for both of our versions. Although, funnily enough, we will be using them in slightly different fights. Uh, Pikachu also does buy an X defend here, mainly so that we can set up something called God Menu later. We'll talk more about that when we when that's relevant. Uh, Eevee tends to buy a burn heal here because. Uh, a certain thing has a certain move that can burn, which is mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. ideal, but we'll get to that later. And as we move into Route 3... If I, I guess it's that. Route 3. I, I just am oh, like, yeah, the route before on, Mount Moon. Uh, yeah, Route 3. Uh, we have some, uh, what we like to call special spawns for... Well, not special, well, exclusive spawns. Just because special spawns are something different for both of our version, for both of our runners. For all of our runners, uh, Pikachu has two uh, exclusives, being uh, Sandshrew, which we saw Pokétex get, as well as a Mankey. Uh, Eevee only has one, and it's Snack. Only has one, but it is allowed to catch a Pikachu in the forest, so that's pretty nice. Yeah. We also has one other version exclusive a little later, but yeah. Ooh, Allo running right into a Sandshrew. Always good when you go into the grass and you actually get rewarded. Yeah. So yeah, that grass is... Technically not optimal to go to, so I have a little thing where I walk a little bit just to see like the edge of the grass and then walk up so that, you know, we get to see the thing. And there's also slightly different strats on catching the sand shrew, whether you want to double poke, double uh, 2p and pokeball to get more uh, experience or just 1p great ball. 1p is always faster to catch a pokemon than 2p because you don't see that animation, but Doodle. you do get more experience in the way, so it does depend on, you know. Yeah, I mean, like, you can go for, um, like, I think what Yozarian might do here, yeah, just going for the 1C Great Ball catch. You do need to switch to Great Balls for Mount Moon regardless, so this is totally fine. Um, some people will go for, like, what you're looking for here is you're looking for a catch. You're not looking for a ton of experience. Um, so it would it would be different if it was something where he, you really wanted the experience bump from using 2P. It is slower, but in this case, it's like, I'm getting a drive by Ekans. That's pretty cool. It ups my catch count. I don't have to worry about something later. I think it does depend. Like, I think if Yozarin actually did go for 2P, I think the Metapod would have gotten one extra level. And I Is think that, that a shiny Zubat? Well, it's gone now. I did not see. I On a Pokétax attorney screen, I think there was a green Zubat that got despawned in the cutscene. Well, goodbye forever, Zubat. I do love a good Zubat, shiny, but it's gone now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, to be fair, you wouldn't really want to catch a Zubat now anyway, so uh, take no. that as a blessing in disguise. I'm going to count that as a blessing that was given by our raider. Thanks, Albie. I appreciate that. Anyway, uh, a little difference between here in Mount Moon when it comes to both of our Pikachu and Eevee runners is when we choose to do our menu. Uh, Eevee tends to do the menu just before the first trainer because we want to use, uh, we want to teach Eevee headbutt, so we just use the lore then and 
you know, use it then. Uh, Pikachu yeah. actually wants to delay that menu a little bit. Since Oddish is already in the front of our party, we actually want to deal with the next two trainers, as Pikachu doesn't really do well against Grass-type Pokemon because uh, the type chart exists. Yep. So we deal with that trainer. We also deal with a trainer just afterwards with our Oddish so that we can just uh, absorb Sandshrew. Sandshrew is Pikachu's worst nightmare. Yeah, um, places. correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys will actually fight that Sandshrew trainer before you go down to the basement yes. where all of the catching usually happens. Yes, we do that. Cool, uh, okay. Pokedex doing the menu of depositing everything that we don't need, and now we have very important catches to get. Uh, yes. Specifically, we need a mushroom, uh -huh. we need a rock, okay. an angry rock specifically, not a rock okay. snake, there's a difference. Right. And ideally, and a pink thing, a pink blob. Okay, what, ideally, what pink thing though? One, you know, oh, like that one? Form. Like yeah, that, that fairy? Exactly like that one. But, you know, I, I oh, like the glow of the fairy. Better, but not... But, you know, the big ones can work out in your favor. They're just harder to catch. Especially the big one with an egg. That one is like the holy grail. But mm -hmm, typically, mm -hmm. you would want to get that now if you're Pikachu. Because that early experience, being able if you can get Thunderbolt before the next gym, that would be really good. I'd, I'd say that catching a Chansey either in Mount Moon or Route 6 is ideal. If you get to Route 10, the catch chance on a Chansey is much lower, whereas I think in Mount Moon it's like 74% if you do all the all the Razzes, the Greats, and the Excellence. Yeah. That was, was that a big Clefairy? That's pretty nice. Yeah, that is a very big, that is a glowing Clefairy, yes. Wonderful. Uh, and yes, Pokétax confirming that it was indeed a shiny Zubat. Uh, that, yeah. that's great. So, so, so yeah, so that's the things that we want to catch. Uh, we want to be level 15. The main we it's not for any damage range specific reasons. It's just that the next gym just refuses us entry if we don't have a yep. level 15. It's a and very... if we miss it, we have to go and get more experience on Nugget Bridge, and nobody likes that walk of shame. Well, there's actually a few other backups that we there can is. do. There is rare candy. There is. Yes, there is rare candy, um, which if you played the original game and you did a lot of exploring like I did, you would have known that there is a rare candy in that person's backyard. The only person in Cerulean City that has a backyard must be some sort of bourgeoisie kind of guy. Yeah, but it's also like a rare candy that in other games you actually do go ahead and pick up it's just this is not one of them mm -hmm. yeah you don't you don't need it yeah unless you don't get level 15 in which case you might actually might want to consider getting it to be level 15. yeah so, so the goal in this in this section besides just getting the catches is get to level 15. that is the main one yes. yes um and so you will see that people really will focus on on that uh, so yeah. they will wait. They will wait for like uh, Pokemon's to stop attacking or stop hopping. Especially like the Clefairy can really jump around at points. Yep. Yeah, uh, Pokedex yeah. checking there for Double Moonstone as well. Didn't get it, unfortunately. Yeah, it's only a uh, fifty percent chance to get yourself Double Moonstone. Uh, well, level fifteen is the minimum requirement. If you leave this room at about fourteen and a bit experience. Uh, you are on track to be level 15 as you leave. Uh, That's correct. Yeah, for Eevee, for Eevee it's 14.1, and for Pikachu I believe it's a little bit more than that. Yeah, because we don't get the experience for... Well, we already got the experience from... Um, Providing, the other. Ooh, there, yeah. There's a slightly bigger thing, pink thing. In so Yazarian that's Clefable. I don't like going for Clefable because the catch chance is only like 68%, but in a pinch you can definitely go for it. So we'll see what Yozarian does. Also, being higher level is better. That's a lot of... Clefairies and Pokédex. It I is, think. but... But I think Pokédex actually has uh, everything. Clefairy, does he have Mushroom? Has Mushroom. Oh, um, and and has I Rock. So, no, I was about to get Rock He doesn't now. have Rock. Yeah, so we're gonna get Rock right now. And that is every everything normal norm that you would normally catch in yeah. uh, Mount Moon. So that's the... I think every one of our runners has at least spawned the normal th thing. Uh, as I look through, so Aloe's still looking for a Geodude, um, but I think that that's... Oh, and Yuzarian's still looking for a Mushroom. Okay, but I think if you don't get Mushroom, I think Giant Pink Thing might be the replacement. Yeah, uh, we'll see what Yaz does. I'm curious. He is positing. He, he so, might be going for it. Which is I, I actually go for it. going for it. Okay. Bulbasaur. It's like you can get also deposit Bulbasaur early. 
You can, but I also appreciate going for the um, the extra catch and evolving the Bulbasaur. Um, so I don't hate that. Um, that means that you'll have <laughs> you'll be able to deposit it basically on your next menu because it's going to evolve if you catch this this pink thing. Good luck, Yaz. Excellent and, and, throw. Come on. This will, this will just this will just be a double Moonstone, but already used. Well, a pre reused double Moonstone. Ah. Out. Is he gonna try again? He's gonna try again. I mean, if you're I in believe. it, you're... Oh, Ooh. you jerk. Yeah, it, it has a, a slightly oh, more aggressive... Oh. Attack. That's Give, three yeah. great balls. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, that's yeah. six great balls. That's too many no, that's great balls. Great. Oh, oh did he have Pokeball? Great no, Poke? he did double, double grades. So yeah, that's six great balls that you just wasted. No, that's... He's gonna have to pick up the extras almost assuredly. No, I was saying that there's three great balls left. Oh, okay. Yeah. My apologies. That's, yes. that's what I was concerned. I, I've had that, don't worry, I've had that situation before where, let's just say a rock snack was tying, was uh, taking a little bit more uh, balls than I would like it to be in uh, 60, actually. And I and then a Chansey spawned and I had like literally three great balls. Oh my. Uh, to and try and catch it, and so I went for one, didn't get in, and so I had to... Then you gotta run. Yeah, that unfortunate, but I respect the play for sure. And, yeah. and this might also just be, like, a slight lack of experience in this game for Yazarian. It's not, like, the main game he's running. Uh, oh, really? Okay. And it's, like, the cliff... The cl uh, like, all the all the Pokemon, like, in that, in, that, in that basement room, they're, like, pretty good to catch, like, with their attack cycles, but uh, the cliff is just slightly faster with their attack cycles, so you really have yeah. to... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Attack cycles is actually something that I just uh, also have like almost no experience with. It's like, please just, I'm just like, just don't attack, please. Thank you very much. That's definitely, um, when I come back to this game, that's like the first place that I'm going to try to observe to try and save some time is where can you YOLO throw? Where can you like take a risk and try to get an excellence? Where do you wait for the attack? Right. And that's something that comes with a whole lot of experience. So, you know, in X round, when we have our racers with um, more, more more point values or more experience, you'll see a lot of them um, say in a particular, big fan of the YOLO throw. Um, you know, and sometimes you get punished for it, but overall it's just way faster than having to wait several seconds for an attack. I think it also like depends on like the situation that you are. Oh, bonjour. Are you trying? You have, going three for great, it. you have two great balls. You have one attempt at this. I respect the play, though. Unless you go... I mean, this is going to be huge. If, if, if this gets it. in, it's huge. Right? So I respect this. Because Yazarian, Yazarian right now just a little bit behind the other runners. If this gets in the ball, that's so much experience. And you're just moving, right? So got in the ball. It. Let's go. How big is it? Uh, 1297. So I think that's just a regular glowing Chansey, uh, but that's Ivysaur, and that's a level almost 18 EV. That's pretty spicy for this section right now. Yeah, yeah someone and would and have to tell me like how good like being level 18 at this point for EV is. Uh, uh, it, it's it can it can it you won't really see a difference like immediately, but over yeah. the next like. Uh, even like an, the, over the next hour, you will see like Yosarian, uh, like catching up slightly yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, de de okay. Depending on stats, you, uh, you might get like, uh, you can have like a faster Misty fight uh, or have a yeah. faster Rival 1 fight. Uh, Yosarian did fight. mention in the chat that uh, he didn't have any special attack AVs. So this will really help with a couple of the ranges that you would have seen in the Cerulean City section. Um, as well, it is likely that Yazarian is going to be level 19 or 20 by the time they get to the boat rival. Um, and if you don't get any speed AVs and you go into that fight around level 18, the Pidgeotto, the Pidgeotto can outspeed you in EV. So it's good to be a little bit of a higher level. And based on the experience right now, Yazarian is not going to have to worry about that. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, oh, I thought something else I was gonna say, but uh, I, 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 it went out. It went, it went out. Of my Sorry, mind. am it I went, talking about EV? Made it leave your head. Uh, yeah, and I'm and, and, and just fun. really like high XP, like um, all of these runners will get to level eighteen easily this run. Um, so if you have, if you get your level ups here, you're just saving that time on your next, yep. like compared to the others on their next split or whatever. So it yep. really does make a make a difference, and if possible, I love to go for like high EXP. 
Oh, I'm right there with you, especially in Eevee. The more EXP, the better. Um, so right now we're going to see that Pokotax has actually left Mount Moon and is going to get a monkey right now. Yozarian's four catches ahead of them, which, uh, you know, there's a copy pass that will disagree with me, but, you know, like that's about like two minutes, like right there. So Yozarian looks far behind, isn't actually that far behind, I would say. Um, but, you know, especially with that extra experience that Yozarian was able to get off that Chansey. So, like, don't don't let this deceive you right now. It looks like Pokétax is pulling ahead, but a little bit lower experience, a little bit lower catches. Uh, I'm a little concerned for one thing right now, which is, uh, yeah. Aloe's only just level 14 now. Yeah, so Aloe is gonna have to look for something nice in the grass, or may have to go and fight things early on Nugget Bridge, which you don't like, it's a little bit slower, but you can still get through it. So, oh, you know, he can isn't... pick up the rare candy. Can't pick up the rare candy. We'll see if Aloe actually knows about it. I'm not sure if it's in the notes. If, I don't think it is in the notes, but if he has has done some Kanto speedruns, he would probably be familiar. Because the items are actually in the exact same pl places as before. So, if he knows about it, then he'll pick it up. If not, he'll probably just do the uh, Nugget Bridge section of the yeah. well, that, that, which is completely fine. That, there is a big difference in this version. Uh, with that rare candy, compared to the other games, uh, in the other games it is a, a hidden item. Here it's a Pokeball. And that oh, has so at least you can find it. Well, that has confused people who are looking for a hidden item. Oh, really? That's that's kind of funny, actually. Hopefully, yeah. Allo, if Allo goes for that rare candy, hopefully we know that. But uh, we'll have to see if they will. I think that Allo might look for something here. Doesn't get anything glowing, so I think you skip those. Get the, get the uh, Great Balls? I also, I also remember what I was going to talk about. Uh, since Yozarian has used all the Great Balls, the next Pokemon that he's going to catch is going to be having double Pokeball. So, yep. one thing to note that Jigglypuff was probably not the best thing to see when we, when Yozarian gets to see the next Pokemon. Because right, because that's when you want to throw immediately, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, Yozarian Yo hopefully will pick up those Great Balls that we just saw Allo get. Um, Allo's also going to yeah. learn Zippy Zap. Hey, <laughs> hey, Crisis, what's Zippy Zap? Oh, so it is uh, Pikachu's uh, one of many moves that Ooh, Pikachu Chris. has as exclusive. Uh, Pikachu only Ooh. teaches one because it only needs one. Uh, and it's a move called Zippy Zap. It's, you know, a 50 base power move, which doesn't seem that impressive. But uh, it has plus two priority. Uh -huh. And it always crits. Oh, oh so, so it's actually it's... more like 75 power. Yeah, 75 base power that ignores uh, defensive buffs. And also wow. ignores any offensive debuffs. So it wasn't a good crit. No, I don't think it was. Uh Well, some of them might be. Uh, the the, the for poke attacks right now, the next crit is not going to be a good crit, but the crit afterwards is actually going to be a very good crit. Ah, yes. I was going to say I think I think Eve, uh, Pikachu really likes that Zippy Zap crits on this uh, next Pokémon. Yes. So, Yozarian finally out of Mount Moon, and Aloe did indeed not go for that rare candy, and is just going to fight the rival and see what take where that takes him. Yeah, so I think the rival doesn't give enough experience to get to level 15, I don't think. No. If it does, then he could, and you can also see like the, the downside of doing rival first, like, headbutt is normally a 2 at KO, but now I have to go for headbutt plus quick attack, and now you get poison. Oh, and, and, got a lot you know. of poison damage there too, that's unfortunate. Yeah, should have gone uh, for a second head point, I, would, uh, I would say that you could be in quick attack range from the EV, which if you are, you might want to send out the second controller, just in case. Just remember as a safety backup strat, as our is doing there it is. Is showing right now. Well done. Uh you can just summon the second controller at any point, just in case you are in an accidental um yeah, you know if um, a really big thing to know if you're like just starting this game or even if you're in a race situation, if anything goes wrong for any reason, misclick, you get a crit, whatever, when in doubt, just summon the second controller because then you're able to heal if you need to, you can use an X item if you need to, or you can use a move from another Pokemon just to get some chip damage in. So lots of very important stuff that can happen there. Yeah. Uh, speaking of like exclusive moves, uh, what does Eevee learn? Well, Eevee learns three really exclusive, really fun moves that are based off of the Jo- sorry, not the Johto, the Kanto evolutions. You get Sizzly Slide, which always burns a Pokemon. You get uh, Buzzy Buzz, which always paralyzes. And then you get Bouncy Bubble, which is like Giga Drain, but a water type move. They're busted. Nice. Yeah, and they're all, they're all 90 power. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. Um, uh, let's I, I, did, I, I did check like the stats for Yuzarian. 
and I think uh, Yozerian got six special tech AVs. Oh, that's good. Okay. Pretty sure I saw 36 special tech. Level He's 18. level 18, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Also, quick. Uh, oh, wait, that's wrong. To, uh, it's I was going to say, sorry. I think, yeah, it's, it's only, only two. two because it's a higher level than you usually see at that location. Yeah, yeah but let's pay respects to Glaceon and Leafeon who don't get any special moves in this game. They do, actually. Yeah, what? they do. Yep. They do, we just don't get them. I think they think they show up in Fusion? Yeah, Fusion. Uh, Wait, what do yeah. they do? Um, so the um, the grass one is Leech Seed, and I forget what the ice one does, but it does exist in my casual file. My Eevee does have the Leech Seed move. Ah. I thought they didn't exist. Okay, never mind. No, oh, they not. all do. There's even, <laughs> like, Sparkly Swirl or whatever the Sylvian I knew the Clary one exists. I just didn't know the grass or the ice one existed. Oh, all right, I'm the, yep. forgive me for getting misinformation. No, it's Freezy okay. You run Pika, you don't know. Breezy Frost. <laughs> well, as far as, far as I'm now. As, as it, far as I'm left, Pika gets, just gets one. Yeah, sorry, Sheep. What's the Freezy Frost do? Freezy Frost uh, sets the stat changes to zero, so it's basically haze. Oh, neat. Okay. Huh. Interesting. As and we, uh, uh, and the fairy the fairy moves sparky swirl, it uh, cures um, status conditions on your side. Oh, it's like a refresh. Uh, actually, it's more like heal bell if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Yeah, all Pokemon need to use this party. Very cool. Also, just a quick note that Yazarian did forget to deposit the Chansey, so it's getting a few extra level ups that we don't like to see, but you know. Yeah, but he just wants to remind us that he caught a Chansey, and that's pretty cool. Also, I think I realized that the Chansey might not have been a Lord Chansey. I don't think it was, um, but that's okay, because that means it didn't get too many extra levels. We saw a lot of level ups. Yeah, level um, 9. Yeah, but, yeah it was, I think it was like level 7 Chansey. That's okay. Honestly, if, if it was any bigger, that would have been maybe a couple of wasted levels, since I think that when Yozarian caught it, there was a Paris in the party. Hmm... Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna take your word for it. I don't know. Chat can correct me. If I was wrong, oops, I remembered incorrectly. So now we, have all of our runners are now going to the most exciting section of the entire run. Yeah, anybody wanna play a game of Hangman? We can't. I, I think everyone okay. is. I mean, wait, Hangman now? Is it commentator Hangman? Okay. So that's a word. Uh, I do. Alright, so uh, I'll go with the first letter. Uh, let's go with the classic uh, A. There are no A's. I will go for the O. There is an O, second to last letter. There are six letters. Okay. Uh, let's go with I. There are no I's. Really? S. The second letter is an S. Uh, let's go with, uh, an E. Uh, the first letter and the th fourth letter are E's. Wait, hold on, I need a notepad for this. I want to guess. Yeah. Espion. You're correct, my favorite evolution. Yeah, that, now it's connecting to my brain. Yeah, What? what's your favorite evolution? You know what, you have, what, a one in eight chance of guessing? Well, I was just going to say, what's everyone's favorite evolution? I see Umbreon in chat. That's also a very good one. Crisis doesn't like Eevee, of course, so... Oh, 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 oh. I mean, I like the evolutions. It's just specifically the Eevee that just you sometimes see on the screen is not really an Eevee that I... Uh, that you know very well, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, the more you know a Pokemon you have a relationship with a Pokemon, the more you tend to, like, sometimes hate them. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I, it, um... It so, I was one of those people that played Pokemon Coliseum when it came out. Um, and the Espeon stuck with me the entire time. And it just was like, yeah, I love this Pokemon. This Pokemon is one of my favorites forever now. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. The Espeon's great. No, Espeon's great. Like, but it was like, you know, I think there's, like, certain Pokemon that you start to, like, dislike because of, uh, Speed running. I think most people. Oh, you mean like Halucha? Here... Yeah, but I think most people here are starting to dislike Electrode. True, yeah. 
I think no. I think no. Let's go runner likes Electra. Uh, likes Electra. I mean, if they like it. They like it not because of this game. True. Yeah. Or maybe they like his seaweed electrode. Yeah. It's like I, as I, I'm I, starting I, to speedrun games, speedrun more Pokemon games. I'm starting to realize that my likeness and hatred for certain Pokemon has been swayed a little bit thanks to uh, speedrunning game and even just like other games like the trading card game that I right. play sometimes. What I've, was that? Cheap my, uh, yeah. I, I, I know for sure that Etiquette hated Electro before Let's Go came yeah. out. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. I, I think also, it's also my my favorite uh, evolution is Kecleon. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's good. My favorite evolution is Empoleon. I, I, good, I was about to say that if you didn't. Yeah. I got it. I got there first. But yeah, also a lot of people's favorites, uh, Patreon. Oh. Mm. That's debatable. Oh yeah, the, the, oh yeah, there's also a couple of one like the Leon evolution is also pretty good. Uh, Finneon is also another pretty good evolution. That's a yep, lot. Yep. Charmeleon. Yep, Charmeleon. Right. <laughs> yeah. Inteleon also really good. I think we're all just spreading a little too much misinformation. Mis 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 yeah, I, 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 I guess we can all say that, that like, agree that uh, I don't think anyone said Flareon. Uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately. I wish Flareon was better, but it, it's not. But Fl Flareon's cute, okay? We, 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 it's we stand cute, Flareon. but it's we, not or, I am, I am Flareon's biggest defender, okay? Oh, it's, somebody has me. It's just, it's like, it, it isn't helped by basically everything. And that's a shame. Uh, uh, it just it, it it's just special, okay? It just has interesting stuff. No, it's phys it's physical. Yeah, and, and that's, that's the, the problem. problem. It's technically both. Because it has 130 attack and 110 special attack, okay? Yeah, but we all know that the EVs 90, are based off of their usual stat. 95 special attack. 95. 110 special defense. Oh look, it yeah. just took six generations to get flare blitz, it's fine. Wait, it got Flare Blitz? It got Flare Blitz in Gen 6. <laughs> Incredible. That still didn't redeem it. No. And Fire Fang. And Fire Fang until Gen 6. Yay. All right. So Pokétax is just on the way out of Cerulean. Uh, oh my god, there's a hole in the wall. How did, uh, well, that, how, how did that get there? Great job, Danny DeVito. As we've mentioned, that Let's Go only has a, a certain number of jokes that we're just going to recycle until the end of time because we can. We used our it. one. That was our one. Uh, and now we're just going to go back to talking about things that aren't that. Uh, because the. Oh boy, Route 6. Here we go. Uh, we uh, Pikachu runners love this route. And what I mean by love, uh, you can put quotation marks around that one. It's a love hate relationship. Yeah, there's a certain uh, Pokemon that we want would like to spawn. If it doesn't spawn, it kind of just. Uh... <laughs> but, you what know, Pokemon that... is that? Uh, you have uh, until Pokétax gets to the other side of the, underneath. Uh, God, what is that city called? I, I do not know Kanto. I actually be on this game, and I still do not. Vermilion. 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 Yes. I, I am the same. Wait, by no, the way. That's, I, that's where I, we're I, going. I... We're going under. We're going, going under the... Saffron. Yeah, that's the yeah. one. I yeah. don't know route names. I don't know town names. I don't know route names. I know town names, but that's just because I was like, "Ooh, this one's also a color," because I'm a nerd. Like, I know route. I know route. I know route. I know routes better than towns in this game. I'll, I'll be completely honest. I learned most of them when I was speedrunning this game, so I could very easily ask people questions. Uh, and that's the, the only reason. I, I'm still that person that calls the route above Cerulean Cerulean Cape, though. Yeah, I, so, I just scroll scroll in my notes to see what the name yeah. of the route is. <laughs> You're so, like uh, route you're 25. Guest, uh, the poke. So right here, Eevee and Pikachu have slightly different requirements before going into Vermilion City. Yeah, uh, Eevee doesn't have one. Eevee has wants to be level 18 before it goes yeah, in. That's it, though. Yeah, so that is a requirement. Well, it's technically it's advisory. Uh, Pikachu has an advisory requirement, because it's not forced by the game, but the advisory requirement is, uh, we want to catch a pupper. A pupper? Because, 
Because fun fact about this papa, this papa's packing heat. Oh, really? Like, yeah, uh, it has a flamethrower. Just... It just has a flamethrower. Is that even legal? Uh, going to Kanto, as long as you're apparently level 17, which is apparently the coming of age of owning a flamethrower if you're a Growlithe. Apparently not for a Vulpix, though, and that's very sad. For Vulpix. Vulpix uh, has to be a little bit higher level for some reason, but... Growlithe, yeah, just level 17, and just packs a 90 base power special type attack, which is very useful for a lot of things. So, yeah, because you said Pikachu was bad at grass types, right? Yeah, Pikachu's bad at grass types and uh, bad at ground types, and Flamethrower, while may not be good at incinerating ground types, it is good at incinerating grass types. Right, right. But it also has a use case against a, a specific ground type called Sanctuary, but right now we're hoping to see a Growlithe spawn and, uh, oh no. I don't see a Growlithe. Um, there is technically a backup strat that you can do without Growlithe, but yeah, well, Pokétax Poketax is respawning the route. Okay. Yes, because uh, not having a Growlithe is iffy at best. There's there a pupper. It's running right for him. Yeah, we don't have to chase the pupper instead, which is uh, always a fun It was time. like, sorry, I'm late. I'm here now. Yeah. So, there's the Growlithe catch. Also, Growlithe does have another very important role that it plays a little later in Pikachu. Uh, we'll get to that when we get to everyone's uh, favorite area called uh, Rock Tunnel. Ah, yes, Rock Tunnel. Everyone's favorite. Some people might hate Route 10 more, but that's kind of the same place, roughly. There is actually, like... From what I've heard from some of at least the top EV runners, there is actually a strat that you can just ignore the entirety of Route 6 if you are... Uh, if you're level 18, 19, yes, you can. Yeah, um, you can just... Like, yeah, I don't know if you would them. necessarily, because it's nice to catch um, a Vulpix, uh, just in case you end up running a little low on your catches later, or if you have an odd catch count, like Yazarian I mean, does still, right now. You can still get Vulpix on Lord. It's just, it won't you give can. it a lot of experience. That's but. true. Um, but if you're gonna skip Route 6, you just don't lure, right? So... Yeah, Yeah. the, the reason for the lure is mostly to get more things to spawn, and not exactly the level. Yeah. Well, well, for Eevee, yes. For Pikachu, no. You have, you definitely yeah. want Growlithe yes. to spawn more. In Pikachu, you definitely want not that. Not 17, if it's not coming of age, uh, it does not get, it does not get Flame Yes, yeah, so if it doesn't come in age in every JRPG ever, then it's too bad. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, people in chat are having revelations about how to do their menuing on this Vermilion shop. Uh, we'd love to see it. Wait, did they notice something that I just didn't notice? Uh, apparently Amber didn't realize you could just go left up to get to Pokeballs in the cell menu. Um, and <laughs> Amber's having a moment, apparently. <laughs> up left? Uh, okay, that's a new one. I'm gonna write that down at some point. Because, uh, that's probably just like slightly first in menu when it comes to that shop. When it comes to that shop, uh, but yes, we do do. We now do another shop where Pikachu and Eevee buys a bunch of great balls, a bunch of X specials, a bunch of X attacks. Uh, we sell our Pokeballs and our nuggets, and also depending on if, who you are, also our fossil as well. Or the PP up if you got it. Or the PP up if you got it, or both if you want more money and more great balls. Yep. And... I think I tend to skip the PP up and get the fossil. Oh, look, a Vulpix on his area. There's an Abra, an Abra as well. And an Abra. Ooh, okay. It is but a bit more uh, out of the way. I would also, go with Varian, yes, you did, you did not, you didn't, you ran out of Great Balls. So. No, I respect the YOLO throw there, though. Um, but then as soon as Yazarian did the YOLO throw and failed, switched to a Great Poke, which is what you want, right? So now Yazarian might go for that Abra or Vulpix or both, and we'll see what happens there. Yeah, Owl is also interesting enough going for a... Uh, so, wait, does Owl have Growlithe? I was not paying attention. Uh, hang on. Hold on, let me check the check checkout. He hasn't marked it, I don't think. I No, not yet. He has not marked it, so I don't think he has it. He could also... Because newer runners tend to be like... So it'll be interesting to see. Abra is in a position where you can sneak up behind it, by the way. It's actually pretty easy to do so. It's just whether or not you want to go back around and get it. It is two catches now, so it might be interesting to see what Yozarian chooses to go for. Whereas Aro does not have his Growlithe either. So it is 
also doing a room reset. Hate to see it. So hopefully Growlithe does not take too long to spawn. Uh, you do have to be careful about the lore. There's oh, the there it is. You do have to be a bit careful about the lore, uh, because it only because the cool thing about the lore is that it doesn't. It's not time based. It is uh, step based. So as long as you are a bit careful on how many steps you take, uh, the lore can will you can kind of like prolong the effect of the lore, which is nice. But you see in Poketax's screen, this is the main reason why we want to have a Growlithe. Uh, Effectively, with the, con with the help of Pikachu and Ralph, we can just, uh, incinerate the Oddish. Because Headbutt plus Fame Pro is good. So, Yuzarian does choose not to pick up the Abra. Okay. We'll see how much of that decision is going to be, um, for or against. So, final little thing. Ah! Oh, no. It's fine. So yeah, two for two, or two for three, four, the million skips. So we are facing this trainer. Uh, this trainer is the Charmander, which is uh better, I guess, better than the other trainer that in for Pikachu, but it's still not a great trainer to hit. But thankfully, at least for Alro, as long as he hugs the right, no, left side of the left. It's closer to the left trainer, he doesn't have to do the skip on the way back up. So that's like the only good thing about the skip. Is that if you do miss it, uh, you don't have to do it on the way back. If you do miss the skip, you don't have to do it on the way back up. Many people will argue whether or not the way back up is harder or easier. Uh, I will always make the case of going down is harder, going up is easier. Because there, at least there is a visible line that you can, you know, put yourself up towards. But... Again, argument in chat if you want to say which is easier, eat going down or going up. It's very much a vibes thing. Yeah, because, I mean, I always have something... I've always do something called texture setup for both going down and going up. The texture going up is way easier because there's literally a line in Vermilion City that if you just line your character up and just hold up, you're fine. Whereas going down, you have to kind of find this... A specific part of the ground that's slightly miscolored and hold down. It's, it's always a scarier one. But yes, it's 100% vibes. Here we're buying a but For those who don't know about this shop, it's X items for the entirety of the mid game, as well as laws for pretty much the entirety of the rest of the game. Uh, one repel just in case we need to do something called a repel trick. And for Eevee only, we also do buy a God Spec, because the next fight after Rival us, from what I can tell, sucks for Eevee. Yeah, the fight that uh, Pokédex is almost at, um, it's an Eevee, and three of the Eevee's moves are uh, are moves that try to like change your stats in some yeah. way, um, and two of those are actually really annoying. Um, yeah. One of them is Sand Attack. We all hate Sand Attack. Yep. That sand attack is possibly the worst move in the game. Maybe um, beaten by minimize. It's a it's a toss up between those two. Yeah. Uh, I think sand oh. attack happens more, or like it's some more Pokemon. But we also yeah, so we see also a difference between how Eevee likes to handle their fights versus how Pikachu likes to handle their fights. Pikachu uh requires the bonds of friendship to and uh, what I mean by to deal with it, all the trainers, and what I mean by bonds of friendship, I need mean, we need help, friends, please help me. And whereas Eevee is like, I'm a strong, independent Eevee. I don't need no po other people to help me out. I can do things all by myself, and so that's Eevee does. I think yeah, that's and, a good uh, and 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 even then, it's like there's it's really close in like actually like speeds. You would think that it's this route it's slightly quicker on Eevee, but it's really not that big of a difference. Yeah, it's because the turns that um, you'll wind up saving in Pikachu because you do the dual dual party strats. Yeah. Now we come into what I like to call the second coming of crazy. Okay, aka catches uh, Mount. Uh, wait, no, it's Rock Tunnel. There it is. You're having a rough day there, are you? 
they're, they're also they're also they're also similar in terms of like so true. there's like two there's like two caves in the entire in the entire game it, and they all just have like very similar naming sounds and you know what it's just hard to name things sometimes yeah mountain moon and rock tunnel very similar yes they're both caves they're the only two caves in the entire game and yep. it's hard to distinguish between the two because you reset on both of them yeah um so yeah pokatax is right next to route 10 um, that route isn't great because there's like six things you want to catch there and four Pokemon spawn at one time. That's it. Just four. Uh, and sometimes you'll get the spawns that you really don't want to see because they're evolutions that are harder to catch or you just want to get the base form so you can evolve it yourself. Yeah. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the second coming. We'll evolve catching. Very shortly. There's, there's two more trainers and then two trainers to skip because... Uh, Spinners, we haven't talked about how they work. They just rotate. If you hit yep, a spinner, not actually it's spinners. Yeah, if you hit a spinner, it's mostly your fault. Yeah, and um, they they're different than the ones in Oras. Uh, while they're spinning, they can't see you. Uh, so you've I've seen some clips that just shouldn't have happened because they'll be staring right at you, but because they're technically still spinning, they don't see you. Uh, I Etiquette is notorious for this. Um, some of his trainer skips are questionable, and I hate them. Thanks, Ed Etiquette. Yeah, so spinners are interesting in this game. They're, they're just interesting. But, they're all, but also all the trainers are just blind. Like, they just don't see like that. It's like, I would have absolutely seen. The, that black belt just, he, he really needs to go to an eye optician. At some point. So here we're hoping to see... Fear, well, fear, well, we want to see small bird, crab, um, we also want to see a Nido, and specifically for Pikachu, you need a Nido. It is a, it is, what I like to go one of those soft requirements, but it's still very much required to have a Nido for Pikachu, because, uh, like I said, Pikachu cannot deal with a lot of the things in the mid-game by itself. Yep. But that's okay, because friends are really useful. Turns out, um, Let's Go really was the friends you made along the way. Yeah. Uh, there are two Nidos that you can catch. There's Nidoran male and Nidoran female. Uh, typically Nidoran male is better in almost every regard, as a Nido King is just stronger, but also just has Stab Poison Jab as one of its moves that it just knows. Yeah. Uh, Nido Queen is can also be used as a suitable substitute. Yeah, um, uh, technically, I think it's, like, better on one fight, but every other fight, fight is, is not so good. There's, you know, there's one fight, there's one Hypno that's actually better for Nidoqueen, as Nidoqueen does get crunch. That's a Nidorina. That's not quite what we're looking for here. Oh, there's that's a little baby Nido. Yeah. Oh, and, and Nidoran, Nidoran male just spawned. Okay, so Pokatax is going to come out of this route with a, a most of what he needs. A, uh, a little shame that it took a while, but... The only thing that he's not going to have at the very end is a Spiro, unless one yeah. shows up. Unless one shows up, which I guess is still possible. Now, here's a question. Do you think that in this case, so wait, we did see a glowing rat. Do you think there's a chance that you, if you saw Eradicate, you might yeah. go for it because you want the experience on the Nidoran male? Is that something Pikachu might do? Yeah, so having more experience on Nido King isn't necessarily a big requirement. Like obviously having more experience on specific fights can make uh, certain ranges and better and have certain fights just right. do a yeah. little bit better. But typically it's not the most required thing. Like if I okay. see a glowing rat, like Pikachu getting more experience is more important than say Nido and Mayo getting more experience. At least okay. what I can t at least from what I can tell. There's like yeah. one fight where you could be like instead of X attack poison jab twice, you can poison jab three times if you're like high enough attack. But that's like the most situational thing. Every other fight's just uh you just use you're mainly using Nido King for its um uh da, 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 da. you mainly use Nido King for its access to helping hand. Right. Mainly. Okay. Yeah, because I know that that really wouldn't be something you'd go for in Eevee if you see a rat like this. Um, but I wasn't sure how important experience was on the on the Nido King for Pikachu. Uh, as long as ne as long as you can get from Nidoran Male to Nido Reno before Tower, you're fine. Cool. Okay. At least in my opinion, you're fine. 
I'm I uh, Pika, experienced Pikachu runners in the in the chat can tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty uh, sure. Hey, can... these are these are the things I don't know, and I'm learning as we go through the tournament. Uh, oh yes, and Pokétax is gonna say, eh, I don't need a Spearow and just leave. Yeah. So right now, I just want to see he has what fifty three planned. Yeah, you're going so... well. It's gonna be fifty one after he unmarks Spearow. No, he has already. Oh, he already. Sorry, I was looking at Yzerian's tracker. Um. Yeah, and that's pretty okay. Um, going Pretty into fair, the tunnel you also to have a uh, tactical plan, which most runners do not have planned. So, so it's more. So if you take those two out, it'll be fifty-one. So that's you know still fine. Yeah, that means the book attacks is going to be looking for as many things as possible in tunnel. Uh, but going into rock tunnel with twenty cat is okay. Um, Yozarian's already at twenty-two before even stepping foot in rope ten. Um, yep. So, Yuzarian, I'm expecting to have a rather high Pokemon count. Well, as long as Route 10 goes well, fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, but we'll we'll see what happens here. Oh, That's a Nidorino. Mm -hmm. It's a crab. Yeah. We'll take a crab. Oh, and we got a rat. Oh, and a glowing crab. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, y Yuzarian was waiting there not to even to just spawn more Pokemon, but he just didn't summon his second controller, so there was a cooldown to summon it again. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I also do like waiting to see everything on this route before you catch anything, uh, because if you start catching something on this route before everything spawned, that just increases the chance of that same Pokemon spawning because of Pokemon chains. So I really do like waiting there, um, even if you didn't have to respawn the second controller. Yeah, it is definitely a choice as to whether or not you uh, wait or not wait. It does depend on like certain, po certain, certain things. Sometimes you can just get, you wait and then you just see like, three of the same things spawn anyway, and it's like, oh, yep. gosh, it, yeah. This route just kind of sucks, because there's only four things, and there's like, what, 12 things that can spawn on this route? It's a lot, and you uh, want six of them. Nido, 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 uh, so that's... Two, that's so four, four Nidos, a crab. A crab is five, uh, two birds rats. is seven, two rats is nine, so there's nine Plus things. Plus Chansey. Ten things. Okay, ten things, and you don't want to because see... You don't, because Big Crab doesn't spawn here, as, as far as I'm it aware, does not. Big Crab doesn't spawn. So. Correct, it does not. Uh, Chansey so. does, the birds do, the Nidos do, yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah, so ten. Yeah, so it's uh, ten, ten things. Alright, so Pokétex now going into uh, mm, uh -oh. Route Rock Tunnel. Aloe forgot to teach Thunderbolt. Oh, oh, oh. What do you do in this case, Crisis? Do you just zippy zap? You're gonna have to. So, okay. I've done this before. Once. It was my first run, and it's mm -hmm. not a fantastic experience. So, with not teaching Thunderbolt, what we need to do. So, you have to. So, there's not that many fights we use Thunderbolt, with like one exception being that's gonna be an awful fight being Jesse and James 3. We'll get to that bridge when we get there. Okay. So, the Slowpoke is going to be a two-hit KO, which is fine. It's not the big ideal. Pidgeot in Rival 4 is going to be a problem, because right. Zipping Up is not a guaranteed KO, whereas Thunderbolt is. So that's the fact that Owl is actually the plus special attack, which means he's not going to get any of that benefit from Thunderbolt. Oh, no. That's uh, unfortunate, but you can still finish your run with this. It's just going to be a little bit harder in the mid-game. Uh, yeah, um, right, as you're saying, we need to get Rhyhorn, otherwise, yes. Jesse and James 3, Jesse and James 2 is gonna suck ass. Yeah, you'll uh, need a Rhyhorn and the King for sure. Yeah. And then Jesse and James 3 is going to be uh, a fun experience. Did, did Pokot actually just run a, like, past the Rhyhorn? Uh, I was not paying attention because I was trying to figure out. Uh, Sorry, yeah. What a fun I was trying to think about the Thunderbolt strats. Yeah, I'm over here trying to figure out how we help Alo. To be fair, uh, some runners have considered the Thunderbolt list strats if you are, like, plus attack. So, I guess you're just gonna have to take a page on their notes. So, yes, I have not seen... Uh, Poke... I haven't seen Poketex's screen. I'm not sure if there was a Rhyhorn. Yeah, just before Let's going down out. the stairs, like... Like walking oh. up the ground down the stairs, there was like a Ryan, but there was time to go back, I guess. But oh, yeah, I must I guess... have autopiloted. That's unfortunate. Let's hope Pokétex gets another one spawning right here. Yeah, for Pikachu, it's not the end of the world again, unless you're Owl in Owl's. If you're Owl, please catch a Ryhorn. Yes, but for P for Pokétex, it's not the end of the world. If you don't get yourself a Pikachu, there is a 
nice backup, but for Yazarian, if you don't get a Rhyhorn, uh, you're gonna walk. And we all know that walking yeah, is Yeah, Aloe is going back off. up to try and catch himself. Honestly, I might catch that Raticate if I was Aloe, because you need the experience, because now basically you need as much experience as possible. Uh, not sure what he's um, missing. Let me just check Aloe's catch count. So I'm looking I to missing Nido female. Yeah, I, I don't think he ha I don't. He has rat in his potty, I believe. So I yeah. don't think he's gonna attempt to eradicate. I I think I would have in that case because we without Zippy without Thunderbolt. Sorry, uh, you need as much experience as possible so those Zippy Zaps aren't ranges. Um, also, cat, look at Yozarian going into Rock Tunnel with 28 catches. And yeah. an instant oh, Rhyhorn Rhyhorn for, for Allo. Oh, we shook the wrong controller. <laughs> no, it's a case of you accidentally unsummon 2P and then you start shaking your Joy-Cons a lot and then you and then the other Joy-Con gets shaken. So or you happens. could be doing you could be doing the thing that um I do so, uh, when I run this game is I have them both in the grip. Um so you could have just shaken the grip and then gotten the um the first controller instead of the second when you're yeah, trying no. to resummon 2P. Um, because I always seem to get Pikachu instead of the second P summon, I always like take my Joy-Con in and out of the grip when I'm not using it, which you'd think would be slower, but if you get good at it, it's not that much of a difference. Also, it's so dark in this tunnel. How can anyone see something? I don't know, wow, but apparently everyone here in Kanto eats right, a lot that, of carrots. That, that, that's the I, second count now of the same joke repeated again, yay. I, I have no clue what's on Pokétaxi's screen. Like, who's that Pokémon? Uh, it's uh, Jigglypuff it's from above. That too, but it's actually a Nido King. No, now it's a Nido King. So yeah. So yeah, no T-Bot is uh, gonna be interesting for our, at least in the mid game, but thankfully, uh, I have done it before. It is not great, but not, 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 hor not the worst thing in the world. In fact, some plus attack people have done Thunderboltless strats, and that's a lot of. That's well, a lot of Onyx. Okay, don't yeah. catch these, uh, by don't. the way. Uh, you can. Uh, don't. No. Don't. Not in. Not in Rock Tunnel. If you. If this had happened in Mountain Moon, I would be like, you could. That's too many Golbats. Go away, Golbat. You could uh, if you wanted to in Rock Tunnel. I'm sorry, not Rock Tunnel. Mount Moon. You're right, Crisis. I do get get them confused. Exactly. Um, hey, hey, you, 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 okay. See. Yeah. It's, no. I. They're both similar. Okay. You're right. It's because they're the two caves. No, it's because Onyx has a better catch rate at the lower level in Rock Tunnel. Don't go for Onyx. Just don't do it. Don't go for uh, Kangaskhan. Don't know. The only game in the entire franchise where level does actually affect the catch rate calculator. Uh, it is a good meme to uh go for Rock. Um, uh, yeah, Rock Tunnel Onyx, but I would not recommend anyone to do so. No. There's another. Is that a Rhyhorn for Yuzarian? Yes, it is. Great. And, and, and a Charmander, I think. Ooh, Ooh, and and Char? Rhyhorn, uh, just to let Owl know, uh, you do want to mark it as soon as you possibly can because the more, the less you walk, the faster you go. But Pokédex yes. does still find his Rhyhorn. Does run into a Graveler, but yeah, it's already been caught. Uh, you can actually tell if a Pokémon's been caught already without even looking at their tracker. By yeah. essentially the animations of does it do the long wind up startup animation or does it just uh Sheep, was that another up? Rhyhorn he despawned as soon as he hit the ladder? I think so. Oh, oh. my gosh. Ooh! Pokatax, slow down <laughs> just a little bit. I mean, but it's like let's cut the antithesis of speedrunning though. Slowing down is not always a good thing. Not always, but it's also not always like required also. Like if you need a I am, I've, in my races last year, because I was in the tourney last year, I had to wait for a Rhyhorn because on Eevee, you kind of need one, so. I mean, te okay, you technically don't need one. You have, there are strats where you just replace the Rhyhorn with a Gravel instead and you'll be somewhat fine. You it just makes the, the mid game significantly better to have a Rhyhorn. Yeah. Um, I will say that, at least for Eevee. Like, I, I think it does know. as well. Uh, okay. but it's just not, it's not as important. It's not as important, and you do have to use old strats for, uh, Pikachu, which isn't as great, isn't as great yeah. for uh, Jesse and James 2. I'm also not keen to walk as far as I would have to in Eevee. I mean, I mean, but, you know, instead of, uh, uh, Rhyhorn, you have Recha on, uh, his iron screen. Yeah, did he, did he raz? He did raz. Yes. Okay, I would have razzed in that situation, so yeah. that makes sense. You don't have Ultra Balls yet. If you have the 
It got in. Let's go. If you have the uh, the the the, 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 the if you Ultra beat balls? one of the yeah, if you have Ultra Balls after beating the Ace Sophia, Trainer. Trainer? I See, believe I don't know her name because she's Sophia. Sophia. Yeah, Sophia. Ace Trainer, oh. Sophia. Ace Trainer Sophia. You can then um, uh, have a much better chance of catching Charmander, and would actually be a legitimate case of switching to Ultra Balls early. Yes. But again, yeah. you don't control when Charmander sh shows up. Yeah, so Yazarian has a really good count already at 33. Still needs Zubat and Machop. Uh, and Cubone, actually. So there's a chance that Yozarian leaves Rock Tunnel with a really high catch count. This is also, like, it's fine. But if that, um, if he left right now, he'd have to switch, he'd have to mark Tentacool, which I don't love. So hopefully Yozarian sees at least one of those other things. I mean, if you leave with 30-something, I don't think you need... I guess you were reliant on Ghastly, but it's like... Well, if you look at the ca the tracker right now, um, you can see that there's 55 planned, including those three things I said that Yozerian was is looking for in Rock Tunnel. If you yeah. unmark all, all six of the Pokemon that correspond, he's only going to be marked planned 49, 49. including um, Ghastly. But of course, he already found the Zubat, so that helps things quite a bit. Um, if it would get in... If it would, if it would stop moving, and if the Joy-Cons would cooperate. There we go. Yeah. Zubat not moving is a... Uh... You're asking a lot for Zubat. You're, you're asking a lot of Zubat, and you don't want to do that. You just kind of have to throw. So I get it. And also, like, you don't know if that was because Yuzarian was trying to throw to the, to the right a little bit, or if it was just the Joy-Cons deciding to go that way. Who knows? I mean, I mean, yeah. So yeah, Joy Joy-Con moment is obviously a thing. But if you have like actually high enough catches, you can even make the argument of like not even needing to like get, get Ponyta, get Star, get uh, Star Me, no Star You. And uh, just run and just leave. Just be like, those are the only two things I need. Bye. Yeah, it's really. Uh, I think Amber had like forty leaving Rock Tunnel or something. There's a Rhyhorn for Poke Attacks. Hoof. Um, that, something crazy Amber had in their race, um, where it was just like, all I need is like Rapidash, and I could catch Doduo if I want to, is kind of thing. Okay. Sorry, it's just that I saw a fake out crit, and that thing is on eleven HP. I'm like, please. Oof. Oh my goodness. Please heal. It's he's healing. Okay. Super. Yeah, please. use the super. Yeah. Oh. Right. Right. Hit right. the wrong button. Men, men, a little bit of distress there. Men, menuing is hard in this game. When you have to menu menuing everything with right on control stick and not uh, a D-pad, it's uh, you know menuing can be hard. It sure can. Yeah. Okay. All of our runners now have Rhyhorn, which is good. Um, Aloe needs to try and get everything in this cave. Only currently has fifty planned, and that includes Tentacool. <clears throat> so hopefully, hopefully we see that. Um, Pokétax would like to see uh, Cubone as well. Um, if they see Cubone, then maybe they can unmark Tentacool for themselves, which would be great. I mean, um, it would be Cubone is one of the things where you can have it spawn later, and it's technically more optimal if it spawns in. Uh... Yeah, but Tower is a lie. Uh, so I would rather see it get caught now. No, Cubone Tower is a lie if you need it. It's a, it's truth if you don't need it. I think that just tower in general, you can only like, you can only rely on one catch there, um, in my opinion. And even that's kind of sketchy because I've definitely gone through tower with just oh, things not spawning. So it doesn't matter. Hey, look, it's a key one for poke attacks. Um, Allo just caught the chop, so looking for yeah. a bat and a, a and a bone. Uh, and really want those things. Spawn later if need be, but you, I like to see it now. Yeah, for sure. Definitely want them now, um, especially since Aloe needs as much experience as, as he can possibly get. Um, with Oh, there's a bat. I would go for that if I was Aloe. Yeah, uh, experience. Well, I, I say that you need a lot of experience, and yes, Aloe does need a lot more experience. Bat gets you basically no, no experience whatsoever. And Correct. Cubone doesn't really give you... Like, at this point in the game, there's some Pokemon that you're catching for experience, such as Graveler, Rhyhorn to an extent. Yep. Uh, but other Pokemon like Zubat, uh, Zubat, Cubone, and Machop, you're not really catching for experience at all. You're just catching it because you want the catch count. And, yeah, and for, yeah. For, for me, I would say for Yuzarian, I probably would have, like, even run away from that, uh, Cubone. Because Yuzarian is so far ahead on catches, on plant catches, uh, and Cubone is the, like, the slowest thing you can get here to evolve. Yeah, that's a tough one. I feel like, did it run into him or did he run into it? He ran into it. Oh, it, was, it, was, it was not out of the way. It was like he had to dodge it a oh, bit. Okay. But I, I think I would probably... Uh, yeah, I think I'm with you. I think I would have run away. 
does also depend on like the experience of these runners like a lot uh, at this point in the race setting you kind of want to be like let's just get everything early so i don't have to worry about it late game and even I to the think... point that you could even make the argument probably not but you could make the argument to skip the tower ultra ball depending on how many pokemon you have depending yeah but um i think yazarian has um a 303 pb does yeah. that sound right? Yeah, so decent amount of experience on this one. I don't know if that Cubone was the call where it's like, I'll get my catches now and then I can definitely unmark coughing. Maybe that was the plan. Yeah, 37 out of tunnel. Yeah, that's insane. It's actually like stupid. Stupidly high, I should say. Yeah. And we're not we're not there yet. Maybe something will still evolve. Yeah. But you know, 37 is still something like at this point it's like they, they've caught everything in the tunnel, right? The song um, the Yazarian has. Yes, Yazarian yeah. has. So you can, like, get no past... Kangaskhan. Like, well, let's not talk about Kangaskhan. Yeah. No, let's not do 38. that. 38th. So, 38th. That's incredible. So, yeah. So, if we skip Ghastly, that goes down to 53 planned. If we skip... Then I'd skip the coughing, and then not evolve Machop, probably. Actually, no, you can skip another two and then just evolve with a Firestone, the Vulpix, into Ninetales. That's kind of slow, so I think that if Machop hasn't had that many level ups, I might just take it out instead. Um, that, I mean, you could go either way, though. You're right. Um, or just, like, catch one of the, like, a Psyduck later on and just never evolve it. That's also not That option. too, that too, yeah. Um, I so think, there, there is, I so think... Having high catch count just gives you a lot of options So much to flexibility, what yeah. You don't want to do late game. Yeah, and it's possible that um, what you might do actually if you're Yozarian is just kind of wait until you see if a, if a Ghastly spawns in tower. Because you might not always get a Ghastly. Uh, yeah, so no, Ghastly never. Guaranteed. It's never like fully guaranteed, right? So you might wait to that point, and then when you're running from the Snorlax, you go, okay, I'm gonna unplan those, and I'm just gonna catch three things on, um, on Route 17. And once I do that, I can probably also unmark the coughing from what it looks like. And then, like, you don't evolve the duck, you're right, maybe in that case. Yeah. What, what we what we see here on Yosarian's screen as well is, uh, with this skill, uh, Yosarian gets to level 28. And for Eevee, that's a very important metric to hit, level 28. Yeah, and why is it early in the game. Uh, Because she later move, Double Edge. Oh. Uh, double Edge is qu quite a powerful move. It has 120 power. Uh, it's a normal type move, so stab. Mm -hmm, Same type mm -hmm. attack bonus. Um, so that makes it do a lot of damage on an Eevee. Uh, you do have to heal. It does some damage to yourself as well. Um, but it will make sure that some, a lot of the fights are just like... Uh, you don't really need... Like some of these some of these fights have like... Uh, flow charts almost with what do you do in what case. Um, and yep. you don't really have to worry about it because you have a double edge and that makes just things a lot easier. Yeah. So Pokétax has left Rock Tunnel with 30 planned, which is like just like the bare minimum that you kind of want. Um, still has 53 planned, um, so could, if everything goes well, doesn't have to catch Tentacle right now, um, is looking to catch a Pidgey, or, or I guess you could do a Pidgeotto on Route 17. Like, 30 is not that bad leaving tunnel. Like, 30 is about, like, where you want to be. It's where, like, you're like, okay, I'm fine with this. Also, I just realized that Pokétex doesn't, didn't catch a Graveler. That's what the tracker says. I'm not sure if that's true or if Pokétex just forgot to mark it. Uh, that Anybody is notice? Inch yeah, I've noticed that. I, that's an interesting thing. I have not checked, I've not seen. Maybe he didn't catch a Graveler? I thought the end of the world if you don't catch a Graveler. You, you go back to... And there's actually a concept that I've been learning a little bit more about. Something known as being either on an even count or an odd count. Because yep. you don't necessarily want to be on an odd count. Because then you have to have like awkwardness later on. Like you're going to catch a Pokemon but not evolve it or something along those lines. But... Yeah, or um, if you catch a Pidgey on Route 17, you're able to evolve it twice. So that can also fix an odd catch count. Or um, this isn't really the case in, in um, 
or whatever this thing that is in Eevee is called, Pikachu. Um, but like you can, you have a flex in Vulpix if you catch one in Eevee, where you can get the Firestone. Usually not this one that Pokétex just picked up, but usually you'll get one in Mansion instead. Uh, yeah. And you can evolve that if you want. So that's kind of like a late game decision to fix your odd catch counts. Yeah, or Pikachu, you don't evolve something. Yeah, Pikachu does not have that luxury as we do actually want to evolve Growlithe into Arcanine before we get to man before we get to mansion so we don't have that flexibility of do we like of a stone evo of do we or do we not i mean oh. technically we can if we want to go eevee but don't catch it my mistake pokatax did catch a graveler and just hasn't marked it uh so 31 yeah so third yeah so 31 yeah so that like if you're 30 go leaving the tunnel you're you're fine I, I think at that point, it's like, you're fine. You might have to go for Tentacle, which many people say it's a bad catch. I think it's okay. I'm not here to defend it being, like, the best catch in the world, but I'm not here to say that it's the worst thing in the world. Just, you know, be patient, and I think you just get fine. I think, like, if you're, like, under 30, I think that's when you start to be a bit concerned because that's when you're going to have to yeah. either rely on a Ghastly spawn or... Uh, we're gonna have to have some fun moments of catching Tangler or Magma or Ditto. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not about to write you an essay about what catches I think are good and bad. I mean, someone probably has. I won't, though. I'm not gonna write I'm not, you that. I'm not gonna write that essay, but someone is gonna pro Like, I want- I actually don't think we've got this yet, but I want to see if someone could write, like, what is, like, the optimal, like, just catches. Like, what um, is like? Etchy did write like a catch guide, so maybe that counts. We 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 uh we did like a hypothetical optimal catches uh in Etiquette's Discord. I think like two years ago. Okay. Yeah, that's what well, I was wanting to that, wanting to see. Like, what is like if everything you want spawns? What is like the optimal fifty? That's what I want to know at some point. Well, that's kind of like. At one point, maybe somebody, if they're really, if they have a whole bunch of free time, should just do a Let's Go Taz, which is just like, that's where you find out what's optimal and like everything is glowing and, you know, you catch like everything's supersized. Yeah, I don't think right now switch tazzing tools are. They're not there, but no man, would that be cool to see how fast you could get. Yeah, it would like to see like. RNG goes the way you manipulate the encounters to, like, you know, have a Growlithe run directly towards you as you're doing Vermilion, as you're doing Vermilion Skip, get the Growlithe, and then do Vermilion Skip afterwards. That would be, you know, like, the most hyper-optimized Let's Go run you've probably ever seen in your entire life. Which it would be, be it would be beautiful, and also you'd hate it. I mean, that's what tasks are. It's meant to be a beautiful thing that can never be done by a human. Oh, and also, as we saw with, I don't know if you caught the uh, end of uh, the Super Mario Maker one, and the the, the trying to uh, f finish up, like, beat every level, and it ended up that the uh, last level that had to be beaten uh, was made by someone, like, who, who beat it with a toss, like, to, to upload it. Uh, in a, like, and it wasn't even known that there was test capabilities on the Nintendo Wii U. Oh, that's really cool. Pe people didn't even know that was possible, and this was like, an, an, uh, like, like, or they they knew it was possible now, but not when that game came out. Incredible. So that that also, came out like two years after that that level was made. Yeah. Also, so for anyone who wants crazy. to see Metronome, we are not seeing Metronome today. Sag. That that's kind of expected when you have Double Edge. Um, unfortunately, sorry to those who are looking oh. forward to Metronome. And also, when all of our Pika runners all have Nido Kings, we we just poison jab and be like, "Bye." Yep. Yeah, d double edge is a range, but it's a very favorable one. Enemy Clefairy used full tackle. Oh my! What's like the uh, yes, thirty-eight pre hideout. It was a disgusting tunnel. Yeah, this tunnel, this tunnel for Yozarian is, is like he might look extremely far behind from poke attacks but that's seven catches like difference that's technically more than three minutes haha <laughs> exclamation point pace so yeah uh pete this next um fight for poke attacks is actually a little bit interesting because depending on who you are he figures out and gets an abra and just says like nah i don't need it but you know um 
This next fight can be interesting. Many people don't like this fight, uh, simple reason, uh, minimize. But Pikachu actually has some, like, interesting stats. Now, I've learned this the hard way. Zippy Zap is not like Flower Trick. It does not have a evasion, like, miss, miss check. So you do actually have to hit your moves if it does go for it. But typically, if you do Pikachu 1C, it actually goes for Disable. So you can just Thunderbolt into Zippy Zap no, with no real problem. Uh, uh, but there are always... Thing that you can always do, well not always, but most of the time whenever you have a minimized fight, is you can use your ride Pokemon. Um, both Rapidash and Rhyhorn learn Stomp. And when a Pokemon is minimized, Stomp always hits and does double damage. I am very, I would be very surprised though if you have a Rapidash by this point in the game. No, but Rhyhorn also has Stomp. Yeah, yeah, I know. But Rhyhorn does have Stomp, uh, and that is actually I believe a strat that like Eevee does, where you just Glitzy Glow turn one if it just doesn't, and if it goes for minimize, uh... It does, you just... That would assume a really low level EV. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me. So but I could you be misremembering. To do the, the fight, you can do 2P yes. Nido King plus Rhyhorn. You can also do 2P Pikachu plus Nido King. That if you're Thunderbolt strong enough, you can actually just one hit KO. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, EV has a new move that it learns here. Cold Dive. That's Glitzy correct. Glow. Yes, and Glitzy Glow is great because not only is it a really high power um, psychic type move, but also it sets up late screen for you. Just cause. Um, so that's really useful on the specifically Jesse and James fights that we're going to be doing both here and in Tower. Yeah, Jesse and James. The first Jesse and James, always fine. The fourth Jesse and James, pretty fine. Two and three, uh, no one likes them. Specifically three, but we'll get to we'll get to three later. So right now we get to uh, do a little section of we get to play as Pikachu or Eevee. And apparently Jesse and James does not hear the Pikachu because they apparently confuse it for Meowth's stomach, but sure, they may both make the exact same sound effect, I guess. We're learning a lot about Meowth's di digestive system, which is interesting. But uh, yeah, so P so Pokétex is going to go into the first, no, second Jesse and James fight. Uh, with this fight does change depending on whether or not you have or don't have Rhyhorn, uh, because both of our Pikachu runners do have Rhyhorn, we'll be seeing the Rhyhorn strat of this fight, which is Nidoking plus Rhyhorn. So turn one, you X attack on the Rhyhorn, and you drill run the Arbok, and you just uh, hope you kind of get the knockout on the uh, Arbok turn one. Uh, it can, It is a range if you, are, if you didn't gain a level up with the Rhyhorn, so that's also the, one of the main reasons why you actually do want Rhyhorn to be one of the earlier Pokemon to get in uh, Brock Tunnel, because not only do you want the extra experience, you also want the right Pokemon as soon as possible. Uh, 25, I believe, it's like less of a range, but can be a range depending on, again, your stats, which you do not know what they are, because uh, you don't check. Why and also you? has a 5% chance to miss, which, uh, that that's We fun. hate Drill Run. Drill Run is a move that some people like. And Yosarian already missed the Drill Run on the, yeah. on the rifle. Yeah. So Yosarian missed the Drill Run, but Pokétex is about to go for their first. Their one of one Drill Runs. I don't know why Pokémon accuracy is just such a lie. You it's think 95, that... really 95 or is it 50? Yeah, like, right? Every... Yeah, if it's not 100, it's 50, because it either is hits Hydro Pump Is Hydro Pump ever going to hit? Who knows? No, Hydro Pump is also 50% accurate, because it's either it hits or it doesn't hit. It's actually 80% for anyone in chat that doesn't actually know that. You don't have to know that. It's it's just 50, right? It's a, Any move that's not 100% accurate is 50% accurate, because it either hits or it doesn't. So there's some debate in chat about whether or not going for the Abra that Yozarian saw was a good idea. Um... So, I didn't actually see if its back was to him, which is the it first was. thing to know. Oh, it was, okay. So, if it if it was, then it's like you could go for it. Um, then you look at kind of like what Yozarian's going to be giving up. And I guess the answer is Route 17 Psyduck is what you don't catch in that case, I guess. No, he's um, 55. So, it's like, if you catch the Abra, you'll be at 57. 57 so planned, you, yeah. So, you get Psyduck to 55, Ghastly to 53... And Dodria and Do Duo to fifty one, so you, I guess you just get coughing and just not evolve it, and that's it. So yeah, I guess I'm, going like for it could have been good. Um, I don't hate that Yozarian skipped it. It it might have been faster, but also like there's a chance that it could have despawned or turned around or whatever. So it like Abra's a bit of a gamble because as soon as it sees you, it runs it teleports away. Um, so I'd, 
I respect that he didn't go for it. I definitely see why you would have. Um, it's a race, and technically, Poke Attack's attorney has gone the farthest so far. So I can see that Yozarian was like, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the pressure on. Because yes, seven more catches than Poke Attack's. Um, and Poke Attack's, I wouldn't call Poke Attack's far enough ahead to think that he's like comfortably in first right now. So I don't hate that Poke that Yozarian was like, I don't want to waste any time. I'm just gonna keep going. Ooh, uh, but I, I, was also, I also wanted to do a quick little thing that, yeah, also Yozarian's at 38. I don't yes. think he needs to do any extra catches that he doesn't need to risk. But uh, something interesting happened, and I think the Nido King died in the grunt fight against the rat and the Voltorb, which is uh, not for who? For Owl. Oh, that. Oh, interesting. I wonder if that's because that Pikachu is just struggling with that Thunderbolt. No, it, no, no. This fight, you normally use the Nido King to X attack plus Poison Jab. Oh, okay. But I think. Was it like uh, Sonic Booms or something? Uh, I think the su I think the rat went for Super Fang plus Sucker Punch. Oh, and... okay. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, so it's not ideal. So yeah, that that's also like not a great. Yeah, fight I, I think Allo's kind of hurting a little bit. Um, it sounds like Nido King went down, and it looked like Allo's out of Zippy Zaps. Um, so. Oh, oh no! That that that's you don't get a free heal here. No, so that's kind of that's kind of sketchy. Hopefully, uh, that's really sketchy because he doesn't have Thunderbolt. What? Uh, uh, yeah. What's the plan for Jesse and James? Uh, no, not for Jesse and James. So I guess no, what you're learning, what we're all learning, is that if you don't teach Thunderbolt, which you know uh, people in this tournament have forgotten to teach moves, it's a thing that happens in stressful situations. Um, what we're learning is if you forget to teach Thunderbolt, uh, take the center heal when you get to Solidon. Yes, I think that is absolutely the case because you need. Zippy zaps. Oh. Yeah, I'm just trying um, to think. I'm, I'm just trying to like ten brain the like use all my brain cells to think yeah, about what you, you do if you don't have zippy zaps against Archer two, and I guess also against Archer one. I also against Giovanni one because uh, yeah. Well, like, Giovanni one I guess is not the end of the world, but Persian does outspeed you, which. Amber yeah. here is suggesting to Ether and pick up the Max Elixir. That is actually um, a, a very good call. So, okay. normally I'm not familiar with Pika. So Pikachu. So normally Pikachu picks up an Ether on Cerulean Cape, right? Route 25. Yes. On the whole not boring Nugget Bridge section because of God menuing. So for those who don't know, God menuing allows us to essentially have one input for both our X specials and our X attacks. Yeah, but in this and case, so, it's better to have a run that finishes than it is to have God Menu. So yeah, yeah, I don't hate that because you probably want the, you probably want a bunch of Zippy Zaps for these upcoming fights with yeah, I would Archer move. and Geo and Jesse James. Yeah, well, not Jesse and James. Jesse and James because you have a Nido, uh, well, Rhyhorn. Do and, you just uh, dual Nido King Rhyhorn? Yeah, for Jesse and James, okay. uh, too, you do King, you do Nido King Rhyhorn. That's the better strat. Okay, but. And then after that, I would then Ether. So keep God Menu for one more fight, and then Ether for, and then Ether the Pikachu. And then remember to pick up Mansion Max Elixir. So like which is not, which so you Ether at, um, sorry, after so Jesse you James. After Jesse and James, yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then you. So it's not in the notes, but you'd pick up the um, the Elixir and Mansion. It should be in the beginner notes because it's like Max. The, because uh, Max Elixir is like more of a beginner strat for uh, oh, okay. Ronan, but yeah, it is something that you should absolutely, you should definitely like now remember to pick up because that's not that normally that's an Eevee thing because Eevee doesn't pick up the Ether and picks up the Max Elixir, which is always scary when you use it in the Elite Four because if you Ether the wrong move, your run's dead. Yeah, uh, um, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. But and for for those following along in in chatter on the stream, uh, sometimes this just happens. Where people like I, someone in this tournament forgot to teach double kick. I'm not going to name them, um, but you know, like you'll forget moves, and it's a race, and you've got to be able to finish the race, right? So sometimes this happens where you come up with strats on the fly, and it, it's the sign of a good runner that you're just able to adapt to it and try to figure out what to do from there, right? So uh, whenever this happens, it's really admirable that a runner is going to keep going and try to figure out how to make up for any mistakes that they've made. Because people will hit optionals. You know, you might take an extra death, um, maybe on Giovanni. You never know. Uh, so, you know, it's it's important in, in Let's Go that you have to figure out what to do when something goes wrong, right? Yeah. And it's always, you know, big respect to those who choose to, even though things go wrong, to not choose to, you know, DNF. 
and even though it's extremely tempting like you know if you know you die a giovanni and you hit a bunch of extra trainers i know that feeling uh you 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 have the temptation of being like i, I don't want to finish this but you know it's always good to see runners choose to be like i'm gonna finish this regardless yeah and it's it's everyone does this it's like i've seen top level runners forget to teach a move because they're on autopilot because there's only like two or three cases in the entire run when you level up you have to teach a move every other time you hit down and you hit do not teach move so yeah. i understand why you would do that if you're on autopilot and in this run a lot of things are muscle memory yeah, or sometimes yeah. you just accidentally teach over move because you're just spamming through. Or some, or your controller eats your and down like, input. Yeah. And and then you're like, oh, uh, oh, I I I thought uh, a send attack over headbutt. Uh, well, okay, that's that's only a TM, so you can just reteach it. But yeah. That's just, it's very easy to 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 mess that sort of thing up. Oh, totally. Yeah. And you you know what? Um, being able to keep it going makes you feel a lot better right yeah. like it's the sign of a runner that's just like nope i've got the determination to keep going that that's yeah. pretty cool and also another difference between uh older pokemon games and this one is that in this game uh when you teach over a move the game doesn't ask you are you sure you want to do this compared to older games where i think i was more experienced in being like are you sure you want to teach over this move and you can be like actually no so yeah, it is a change that many people do like because it's technically faster, but in this case it can accidentally mess you up. When you're coming from another Pokemon game and you're used to that double confirm, you know, it's like, it's not yeah. so bad to mash, but in this game, if you hit do not teach move, it's over. Well, not over, just you're gonna have to come up with fun well, stuff. Well, that move is gone, right? Um, yeah, that so... move is gone. Yeah, the only other way to get Pikachu to turn Thunderbolt is the TM for Thunderbolt, which uh, we do not get until we replace Pikachu with something else. Well, that would be hilarious if the way to fix this was, okay, you've you've got Rhyhorn and Nidoking, go beat Search. <laughs> is a what? Like, that is legitimately a way to actually do it. It would be kind of slower, but it would be hilarious and it would be funny. Yeah, that is technically a way that if you want to get access to a uh, Thunderbolt, uh, you can do uh vermilion gym early uh it is slow but you do technically have Rhyhorn and neo king so you can kind of just helping hand drill run the entire fight yeah and Ground it's not, are good against surge and it's not the worst thing in the world it's just again it, see it's half the fun of commentating for these races is just being like now how do we come up with backup strats for things that are never supposed to happen in pb runs yeah because races do put you in uh, interesting positions sometimes. You can't reset when things go awry, and sometimes you just get a really bad crit, right? And that kind of stuff is like, okay, how do we, how do you fix this? Yeah. Um, I remember, um, you know, there's been a couple of runs in the Discord. You know, somebody will be like, I forgot this, and it's like, okay, here the, uh, and then everyone in the call goes, okay, how do we fix this? Oh, uh, we do this, great. You know, so it's these cool little things that just make everybody feel like they're a tight-knit community as we all try to figure out backup strats for all these things that can happen that just will happen because that's how races work yeah uh and also this is going to be like another fight where it's like not having oh wait did owo use an ether please say he did no not yet oh no oh boy uh, you can yeah. do it now we'll use the ether now, now. yeah Neefa Zippy Zap. Yep, double checking that it's on the right move. Ooh, okay, well, so we'll heal. Yeah, you should have X special on that turn, but that's fine. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. There's still, uh, we have super, super potions. Uh, we'll have to try and grab the hyper potion and tower. That's the wrong move. Oh, no. Double kicked instead. Oh, that's unfortunate. Little mm -hmm. rage menu there. Ooh. It's... Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to... Unfortunately, you're kind of in a position... I think Pikachu will die next turn. Likely, because the Sludge Bomb does more damage than um, you yeah, heal. So, and the Poison well, will kill you. So... That's unfortunate. I th yeah, I think this is fine. What you do is you do some chip damage onto the... He double kicked again by accident. Uh, you do some chip damage to the thing, you use Rhyhorn to take care of the Weezing, and then after you take care of the Weezing, you can then use Pikachu to take care of the Golbat and, uh, fix all the problems later. Thankfully, you don't need- as long as you have 
at a minimum, like because of our no thunderbolt four X attacks, you should be quote unquote fine. Does oh it does. Ryhorn does have rock throw, so worst case scenario, maybe we do some shenanigans yeah, with the rock throw and gold bat. Oh, oh wait, how does he only have two X attacks? Might have um, used an extra one on one of the fights we we missed earlier. Oh, that's gonna be bad for Giovanni because uh, yeah. of uh, strats. no boom strats. Giovanni. No, no, not boom strats. Double kicks. Uh, oh, because... right, you have to go to plus six. We have to go to plus six to knock out the right one. Right. Well, we'll I'll have to see what Owl comes up with. Yeah, so here you drill run and you use. Well, I was gonna say you should you should have healed, but you know that's fine. Well, there's healing outside of battle. Hope. Well, hopefully there's enough revives. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, we've got Yozarian going through towers about halfway through, and Poke Attacks just beat JJ3. Uh, didn't look like anything super bad happened on that fight there, which is no. uh, good. Also, you didn't get a Ghastly of, from as far as I'm aware. Did not. You're right. Unmarked on Poke Attacks' tracker. Um, still has 51 planned, but those 51 do include Tentacle. Not great. Um, so we'll hope... I think Poke Attacks now just kind of has to get everything. Um, has to wait on Route 17 for... Um, the, the birds to spawn for um, Golduck to spawn, all that stuff. Technically, Gold, Golduck is all, Psyduck is also a bird, but here we are. Yeah, this fight is getting uh, worse and worse. There is no more revives for Owl. Okay. I think Golbat should be KO'd with a plot with X Attack Zippy Zap. I'm really hoping that it does. And then afterwards, uh, we're gonna have some, uh, fun. Also, Yozarian, just because mm. he needs more Pokemon, gets a Ghastly. Oh, the rich get richer, apparently. Yeah, and, uh, Pokétax saying that, lucky to be alive. Um, so got lucky in the JJ3 fight, looks like. Um, yeah. but, yeah, that's pretty rough. Um, uh, yeah. So, though, Razor, the max of revived your Geo doesn't help for Tower, unfortunately. And yeah, Allo made a pretty rough uh, mistake there and is going to yeah. uh, DNF this race. Yeah. GG's to Allo. That's a rough one. You did your best and I think that you were doing a really good job there. Um, so that's okay. We'll do better in round three, absolutely. Yeah. And also, you know, if you want to talk about it, you feel free to, to come in and talk a little bit about your round. Yeah, if you, if you want to break, that's also totally fine. Um, yeah. But if you're welcome to come in if you want to just hang out on commentary for a little bit. Uh, also, shoutouts to Sandy on Tech um, for switching to the two-player menu before. Um, but right now, um, good to see that. And we will see these racers uh, go through the end of Pokemon Tower and Route 17. Yeah, so Route 17, very important route for uh, our runners. Specifically, there's one Pokemon that we absolutely... Uh, want to see which is uh ponyta well mm -hmm. i don't all rap well technically rapidash is the more important one ponyta just gets the extra catch but rapidash is absolutely important and there have been times where i just said i have such a high catch count i'm just gonna actually something i've noticed uh if ponyta if rapidash spawns for yazarian you just skip we can just skip ponyta yeah, uh, honestly, um, Poketex could also skip Ponyta. He's on an odd catch count right now. Um, and if you just catch Rapidash and not Ponyta, that does fix that problem. Uh, so we'll see what ends up spawning for Poketex. I think if Ponyta does spawn, you probably still go for it. Oh, yeah, no. Um, you always go for Ponyta. Like if a Pidgey spawns first for Poketex, I think I'd catch it and then try to evolve it twice and not catch Tentacool. That would be what I would try to do. But we'll see what Poketex does. Yeah, we'll see. Again, Poke Pokemon will decide what Pokemon spawns first. Uh, we do see a Doduo spawn first. Uh, a bird. Good. And we see Yozarian uh, just starting the JJ fight. Um looks like everything's fine great didn't get too unlucky got poisoned but that's okay we can live with this we're gonna bouncy bubble to get some hp back on the arbok uh and we're gonna heal the eevee so it hopefully doesn't die here um rhyhorn is just doing the job of being a pal and using items on eevee in this fight yeah because the rhyhorn the reason why you can't use rhyhorn on like for pikachu the reason why you can't use rhyhorn on jesse and james uh the three is because Raihorn is just a little too weak compared to P compared to Pikachu. Yeah, um, JJ three is just JJ two again, but with higher levels. Yeah. So that's the. It's not great. It's not great. There's a Psyduck for Pokétex. Didn't go for it. 
Uh, that's uh, odd. Poke attacks. Let's just have a quick. Going back check. up. Heard me say that. Went back up to see it. Oh, it despawned. But there's a pony, so you know, not yeah, all, like, not all worth uh, it. I mean, yeah. So you definitely want the. Uh, I was saying, so you definitely can skip the duck, but poke attacks does not want. I this. don't think poke attacks wants to. Yeah. Uh, actually, he can't. Well, yeah. he kind of can, but you then have to go catch a, a magma. So. so nothing wrong with a good boober. Nothing technically wrong with a booba, but the catch at the same hard, time, but, you, you know. Don't want, you don't, and then you can do magma strats. Shout out to Dynam who kind of figured out what magma strats are because you can either fire punch or flame throw up a certain Pokemon. We'll get to that in just a second, but you don't really want to. You don't really want to catch it. It's like, yeah, it's more consistent technically than um, uh, what is it? The Fire Blast strat, because uh, Fire Blast is a move that scares... If you say the words Fire Blast, you technically do scare the Colosseum runners away, so let's not say well, that. Well, you scare most people that have missed a Fire Blast before in their life. Yeah, but you mostly scare the, the uh, Colosseum runners, because I believe True. they have to use... I, I remember having a conversation with one of the runners. I believe it's like 20-plus Fire Blasts. Uh, yeah, probably. I've seen... Um, well, because at GDQ a little while ago, they did a Colosseum race. Um, there's so many fire blasts. So many. Yes, Yazerian on 54 planned, which is less than it was a minute ago. It was 55 a second ago. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Zap. I got a little bit of a cough. So yeah, Pokétax gets his, uh... There's the duck. duck. Let's go. And Yazarian was like, let's just see. Uh, yeah, he's at 54 planned. I don't know what he marked or unmarked, but he did something. And so... Um, I think he decided... Oh, let me double check. I will get back to you. Oh, um, he unmarked Marowak. Found, I figured it out. Yes, I was just about to say. Figured it out. He's, he just yeah, decided so, to deposit Marowak. Good call, so honestly. If you get the... So if you get the Ponyta and the Starmie, if you, he, you literally have a choice of either one of Psyduck, Doduo, or Coughing. Chansey? Oh, hi, Chan. No. No. Please don't. Pokétax is a smart person. I agree with that. Yeah, so... At this Boring. point, Yazarian literally just wants to find one of the three, as well as Ponyta. Like, he can literally make the decision of Ponyta dip. Yeah. Uh, so, Pokétax is catching a Pidgeotto instead of a Pidgey. This is totally fine. You can just evolve either one of those once to get your two from it. Uh, so he's going to evolve this Pidgeotto into a Pidgeot. Uh, and at this point, can still choose not to evolve something. Uh, we don't know I, what yet. I, I'm not entirely sure I agree with that it's the same. The Pidgey is easy to catch. Pidgeotto, not so much. Maybe not the same, but if you don't see a Pidgey, then you you can make it work, right? Like, they're both going to evolve yeah. once. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, so... Oh, you're right. Yes, Pidgey Aaron is the easier get, catch of the two. Gets uh, Ponyta. Did see Rapidash on the screen, but did, did choose uh, not to go for it. Makes you know, makes sense. You I'm fine Pidgey. with that. Yeah. And um, at this point, you menu... Uh, Eevee, I know, for a fact, wants to menu almost immediately when they get the Ponyta, so they can... Yes. The they as use a rare candy on their Ponyta pretty much right yeah. away. And for those keeping score, this is not a Staryu. Yeah. Uh, but with Pikachu, uh, you actually can make the decision to actually delay this menu uh, to rare candy both the Staryu and the Ponyta at the same time. Yeah. Because Arcanine is actually like a few pixels slower, a few like like distance for it's there's a there's a measurement that i don't know but it's just uh, it's yeah. slightly slower but not by that much i know Dude. sandy knows exactly how much slower it is um because sandy did a lot of the mount skip um finding um uh, but i am personally not quite sure of the difference it's fast enough that you ride it uh in pika until your ponytail balls and you save you getting that extra rare candy yeah, uh, so if, uh, there's an Eevee in your area, screen funny, but if Sammy, That's if you want to write, if you want to tell, if you want to write down what, what the actual, like, speeds in these Pokemon are, so we can actually... I don't know, Sandy might be watching off. anime, and you know what, I respect that. I would rather do that than try to explain pixels. Yeah, that, that makes sense, but if you, you know, if you, if you are here, and if you are listening, uh, if you want to, you know, write, you know, tell us what, tell the class what it is, then, you know, that'll be helpful. Oh. 
So Yosarian did go for Doduo. Um, I, I like that. And that's somewhat preferable for Eevee, uh, or I guess even for Pikachu. Uh, Doduo is very useful. Yeah. yeah. It but doesn't look point, like it, but it is. It doesn't this, look like it, yeah. But at this point, you could literally just actually just leave. Like, you don't yep. need, you, you don't need Star, yep. that's it. Um, yeah, and at this point, basically all you would do is you would you would evolve everything you've got right now. Um, you've got a Machop in your party, and you evolve that, the Doe Duo, um, and the Ghastly, and you just catch your star and you're done, if you're Yozarian, and I like that. I think you, you oh, just now to the end. Double EV for Yozarian. Yeah, two EVs, that's pretty funny. Ah, Arcanine is 5% slower than Rapidash. There you go. Yeah. So one point already point found a star, it's 1093. That's not bad at all. 10, yeah, 1093 is very good. Uh, I believe the average is 1060 something. Where did that point. ball go? I do not know. And I, Pokétex, I would say take your time. Just wait. You have two Ultra Balls left. Not a lot of balls. Okay, got the excellent on the star. That's good. Um, Pogatax is still looking to catch Tentacool and Grimer. I think you can catch Grimer with Great Balls if you're in a pinch, I want to yeah, say. Grimer's fine with Great Balls. Like, Silver Raz double great is fine. Yes. Tentacool, though, I would expect Pogatax to be nice and easy. Wait for Tentacool to do its thing, and then let that happen. Yes. Please, please take your time with Tentacool. Uh... Because one of the things that we haven't mentioned is that while we would like to catch all of our Pokemon with two players, uh, for some reason when we are surfing, uh, we cannot just you know have a second control, have a second player on our surfboard because I don't know uh, regulations that don't allow two people on one surfboard for some whatever reason. So we have to do all water catches with one ball instead. Your, yeah, your the imaginary friend. Can swim. They can't swim. They can't swim. I was gonna say your your second controller can't stand on the on the corporeal surfboard, and I guess they can't walk on water. Wow, the second our imaginary friend can help us in fights, but it can't walk on water. How disappointing. Yeah, it's weird, but you know what? I'm not a game freak. Alright, so take your time. Well, we took the time and it didn't work. Uh okay. that doesn't take your time. Great ball should be okay. Dynam, if you have a math calcs on how to calc, I uh, I think Dynam's asleep. Right? I'm sorry to say. Oh yeah, that it's fine. Sense. It got in. It got in. Who cares? Uh, also, your star uh, is 1065. 10 okay, average Not is 1063. That. So you know it could be better, but you know what? CP is a lie. So who cares? Uh, hmm. An ultra ball did not go left. All oh, right. Just went forward. There we there go. There we go. Okay. Again, just, just you know, Joy-Con issues. It's fine. Joy-Cons are great. You know what? I I don't. I actually kind of like that this game uses motion controls. It makes for an interesting little bit of like breaking up the monotony. But it does make for some dumb moments when the Joy Cons decide that you did something you didn't do. I don't know what will be better: playing this on a Joy Con or playing this on a Wii mode. Uh, Joy Cons. I got your Joy-Cons have joysticks, Wiimotes don't. I mean, I guess you could attach the Nunchuck and then just use the Wiimote to chuck balls and the Nunchuck to move. That would probably be better, actually. Yeah, but I don't... So I've, I'm have i a left-handed gamer, and I've just kind of not enjoyed Wiimotes since um, the Legend of Zelda game that was on the Wii, because oh, well, it... Uh, I would thought. Like, yeah, yes, no, I would... no, it was Twilight Princess. Oh, yeah, um, Twilight. They specifically, like, because, fun fact, in the canon, Link is left-handed. Um, yeah. But specifically for Twilight Princess, they made him right-handed, so 90% of people could have an okay time with, like, the, the nunchuck controls. Uh, I'm one of the 10% people that's left-handed, and yeah, uh, I couldn't play that game. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. Pugatax yeah, caught the Grimer, let's go. I also want to make a... They didn't just make Link right-handed, they just flipped the entire... Oh, hi, Mansion Chansey. Uh, yes. They flipped the entire game. So um, that also, the <laughs> Mansion Chansey, canon bonjour, so that's fun. Yeah. Well, technically, the Bonjour emo is a little bit down below, but, you know, close enough. And is this the moment that Yozarian is overtaking Pokétex? It might be, because... But do you know that Yozarian still has the menu? Um, yeah, Pokétex can't hand hold all these Pokémon. I think that's the problem right now. Um, so party management's gonna look a little bit awkward. I think Yozarian's got just enough space to handle everything that they need to evolve right now. And let's have a look at Yozarian's star. Uh, uh oh, that's, that's slow. slow. It's like fine special attack, but that's really slow. 83 speed on 
That's Hydro Pump minimum. Tinch? That's minimum yeah. speed. Oh, this star is gonna be. That's gonna get outsped by like everything. And let's see our Pokédexes. That's slow special attack, but very fast. Very fast. So we've got two different, two opposite stars right now. Um, Yuzarian's gonna have to take a couple of hits from attacks, whereas um, Pokétex might miss a couple ranges. So very interesting. Oh, I, I've, I've seen this. I, I've seen this race before. I've seen this race. No happen. kidding. Yeah. It's like In uh, I've even been part of a race where it's like I've I've had like, and I'm not kidding this. It's like I've had no good special attack and okay speed. And did did Pokétex had... only use two candies? Uh, also, why is this star you not evolved? Oh. Yeah, that's, that's a better. Uh, I missed that's that. a better question. Yozarian. That's. Uh, uh, I, maybe, he may have forgotten to Waterstone. That's a problem. Forgot to teach Scald too, maybe? I think though no, Scald was there, I think. It was just yeah, oh. I mean, but the bigger question is not... The bigger so this question is, is, is why is it me and not a star you? We, no, we, um, star you, we, star we Waterstone skipped, and uh, it's not paying off for Yuzarian right now. No. Because I'm pretty sure that thing will always go for Thunderbolt. Yeah, uh, you yeah. have to, like, Rapidash. Um, I think if you're Yozarian, you wipe here. Do you? I think well, it's faster at this point. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm not the expert. Maybe you just hope that Electro decides to go for Thunderbolt on the other thing? I, I don't think Ted is that silly. I'm gonna be real with you. I guess, it, yeah, I guess, yeah. Oh Hang wait, on. X, Yuzarian, attack X attack fire blast is not how this game works. I mean, fire blast is the correct play. Yeah, but, but an, an, an X special would have would have yes. worked. Yeah, yeah, that was an X attack. Uh, that uh, uh, wasn't ring, quite right. Ring, ring, fumbling. It's yep. fine. Not Yuzarian, ideal. Just relax, relax, reset. It's all yourself. good. Yeah. Um, you know, hit yourself in the face a couple times and reset. You're gonna be fine. Um, you, you have, you have the is heal still... beds. Yeah, you got the heal beds. Yeah, you are a little bit low on experience, though, which well, might. Well, we died a Ted later. here. Oh, it, okay. Well, we didn't necessarily die to Ted. No, we still um, have a mark. Yeah, we can bed heal. Um, we can grab an extra candy in self if we need. Um, Yozarian still got um, a Pokemon on Pokétax, and Pokétax has a lot of evolving to do. So, just gotta rally, just gotta pick ourselves yeah. up, we're gonna be okay. Yeah. You know, X Special Fire Blast would probably be... Uh, I don't think Reviving Star is necessarily the play, but that's still fine. You just, you just you get rid of this mark and you're fine. I That's think the... Yozarian probably tried to do that to try and get as much experience as possible. I don't know if I love that play. There's there's Chansey again. Great. And the correct place. We love a good bonjour. We love a good bonjour. Yeah, I think now you outspeed, so you sh yeah. So okay, I I see the play. I see I I see I see the lines. You revive the star so you can psychic and knock out the mark a lot easier. You know, I see I now see the lines. Okay, that's fine. We so a rough fight, but I think you can still recover from that. Um, yeah. There's still a lot going on where you can get this back up to a pace where you need it to be. So this is still a very close race, and in fact, it was just made closer for the content. Yes. Hi, Magma. Don't we wanted this to be an exciting race, so it's going to be now. Yeah. Public Taxi yeah, does not need to pick up the Max Elixir, which is... I'm pretty sure it's the Max Elixir, if I'm not mistaken, that's in Mansion. I think you're right. I believe this is, this is one Max that Eevee picks up, but I don't remember. I haven't run this game too long. Yeah, it's Max something. I forgot what it is, but it is the PP recovering item that Eevee yeah, needs Max that Pikachu Elixir. does not need because, you know, Pikachu just picks Pikachu's base and just uses an Eve instead. Yeah. Um, yeah, Yozarian is going to take the bed heal. Um, I'd probably also pick up the Max Revive, or is it just a Revive? One of those, in Giovanni's Gym, if I was Yozarian, and then it, then it would probably be okay from there. Wait, does a Max Revive in Giovanni's Gym? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's a good point. Don't forget to evolve your star, Yozarian. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, get the key and, ev and use the Water Stone, please. Yeah, please don't do that on Blaine. That would scare the crap out of me. Yeah, you made you right. here, so you water stone here. D d no, nope. yeah. gotta use the water stone, my dude. Please. Oh, no, I'm, I'm running. Uh, please don't forget. Yazarian. 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 
You know, I'm typing in. Uh, the... I'm typing in chat. Hold on. Um. We're all just like, please, not again. Stop. St no. Oh, no. Well. No! Well. Well, that happened. <laughs> I mean, How are you doing, chat? This should be... Okay. It's not fun. This is the slow star, remember? He's the slow oh, yeah, one. Yeah, slow star. Oh, no. Uh, uh, it's not fun. Uh, um, but uh, that's okay. How are you doing, chat? Uh, are you excited for round two? Yeah. Round three? Those draws are happening after this game. Yeah, let's yeah. Uh, distract everyone with Hangman. Yeah, let's play some Hangman. Um, uh, we're okay. gonna... <laughs> I mean, do we have? I mean, are we going to distract, or are we actually going to talk about the star in the room? Uh, we'll. We, I mean, we all know it's about to happen. So okay, okay. You know what? There is a strat. There is a fine strat that you can do. It's a uh, slow, but you can just two player. I don't think that's going to be enough, but I could be wrong. Like if you like X special, like two player, like X special plus skull event, X special again plus skull. That should be fine. The only issue again is, of course the speed issue. So let's hope that, you know, it doesn't go as bad as, uh, is I don't know why we're doing Star U strats. I didn't even know Star U strats existed. Well, we're learning them right now. Um, so that's fun. All right, yeah, so he did, he is doing exactly as I remember. You do need to keep at least one X special. Now, here's a question. Did did Yuzarian just straight up forget to pick up the Water Stone? Is that what happened? No. I think just forgot to evolve. Up. Okay, that, that's fine. You know what? Yeah. We're learning them right now. Um, it's going to be more optimal to do Water Stone and Strats on a different menu, I guess. Hey, look, I, as we, we all forget stuff here, and one of the things that I've forgotten... We just learned that you can forget things in a marathon because Aloe forgot to... For, oh, just didn't teach Thunderbolt, right? And we've... Apparently, just learned uh, that you can forget the water stone star you star you won't mean yeah. The thing that I forgot normally here is normally I forget to teach scold. On... I have forgotten to teach thunderbolt, um, which is not fun. But if you eventually learn um, before Sabrina, you don't. It's okay. But if you learn after Sabrina, you have to have a hard yeah. time on on Sabrina. Yeah. So I, I think for Stratfoy Azaria this... now is just wipe and try again. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Wipe. Yeah. Hey, you know what? It's a race, right? Um, this this is unfortunate for you, Zarian, because um, could have gotten five points with the, with a first place finish, and you know what? Still could. Um, yeah. There's still a lot of the game. There's an hour left, and this is where everything goes crazy. Uh, we got Archer two coming up real fast for Poke Tax. Um, we've, we've got Caden and Koga's gym. We've got Caroline. There's going to be a whole lot of other places where things are going to be weird. It's going to be a whole lot of race. Wait, I just noticed something. Uh, What's Pokemon that? Is going to do uh, Erica first, then. So that would tell me that this is going to be a Vermilion shop where you shop for the game for the rest of the game in Vermilion instead of in Saffron. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to figure out why. I assume it's because Pokatax wants some additional healing items for Archer too. That's my assumption. Yes. Yeah, I was I was distracted by what's happening with Yuzarian right now. Yeah, or was uh, I? But then I noticed uh, new Amber suit is saying assuming Ver Vermilion shop, and I'm going to assume yes, yes because I'm going to assume he probably ha is low on super potions. Yep, is, that's really easy. So. That can happen. That's a really easy thing that can happen if you have any sort of bad hideout or um, tower at all. Um, there is? And it's much safer if you have hyper potions on the Archer two fight for Starmie in particular. Maybe he I don't know. I didn't see. The rest of this star's stats, but it could also have really low defense and special defense, in which case you just want more healing items. Wait. That's an interaction I have that never can happen. seen. Yes, if you die but your Pokemon still evolves, it will evolve still. That's it, it's a weird thing that happens, but it can happen. <laughs> just just to rub salt in the wound, hey look, you got a ghastly, but also you it, died. Please evolve your star. And then it revives again. Thank you, Yazarian. Okay, so there is actually one funny thing about doing a um, Vermilion shop over, uh, over the, like you know the normal saffron shop, and that is the fact you do not have uh, max repels. You have to buy super repels, which does mean you have to you know reapply the repels a little bit more. Instead of every two fifty steps, it's every two hundred steps.
But also, it does can it can mess you up in the uh, step counter when it comes to doing certain skips. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But you know. Yeah. Um, Yozarian, this is the wrong gym. Or are we just it's, gonna do well, Erica first? Yeah, no, he's he's. I it mean, would have been act really funny if we had um uh if we had done it's like we're just gonna do Blaine seventh because that's canon. No. Also, YOLO on X items. I, I I also understand why coming here buying at least like. The two X specials makes sense because you do need at least two, I believe, X specials for the rest. Of, well, at least this section of the game. You need one for um, you need one X special for Blaine, and you need one X special for Giovanni. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Okay, yeah. So Pokétax is doing the shopping because he, uh, he only had two super potions, which is a little low for our. No, he's never doing the shop because he only needs to do uh, two. Pokétax hasn't done the shop yet. It's Yozara who need to buy two X specials because. Yes, but it is Pokétax in chat saying that he only had two super. Yeah. So. Um, he, so yeah. yeah. Um, and I uh, also saying in chat, I believe that Pokétax is going to grab the extra candy, um, which I respect. What if, wait, extra candy? Uh... There's another candy I want to say in Sylphco, but I don't help me out, chat. I mean, there's the Lapras candy that everyone picks up. I guess there yeah, must be Yeah, I think there's another one. There is another one. It's like in that item but it's, area in Sylphco. But it's, it's pretty slow. Yeah. yeah. So most speedrunners don't go for it, but I guess, again, race settings is... Fun. I guess he probably has like really bad special that he wants to go for like just one more just to be like, you know what? No, I am going to finish this race no matter what. And it does so... have Dodrio already at least? Dodrio, pardon me, already yeah. at least. So that's okay. It's just the Tentacle that he needs to evolve right now. Um... And Tentacle gets enough experience. I know that for a fact. Yes, it should. Um, and you've got time, right? You, it, it just needs to evolve um, on Sabrina or sooner. Uh, so yeah. there's enough time there. Like it's not like if you're trying to evolve a Doduo for blue, you've got plenty of time. Yeah, and even then, Doduo is like nice strats to have, but you don't really... Uh... Ooh, Yozarian is slow, so we got the burn on the Flare Blitz. Um, so, I think you have to heal that, because of Ninetales also being pretty fast. Yeah, uh... Ninetales... Oh, he's going for the risk. Oh, okay, well, wasn't in quick attack range, and now it's about the, the, the Ninetales, so that's okay. okay. Yeah, Rapidash is definitely a scary one. Flare Blitz can do a uh, good chunk of damage. So, ah, yeah. yes. Matt pointing out that um, so the extra rare candy will get you Bruno turnarounds, but with better special attack, you'll have less ranges because this is not yeah. great special attack. Yeah, also, I, I, I understand. You lose your... some friendship on dying? Uh, not in Let's Go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Main thing to talk about I, is main we're trying to talk about is something a concept called turnarounds. Once your Pokemon has enough friendship, every time you use a super effective move or use a healing item, it's gonna be like, yeah, thanks, buddy. And uh, we don't want to see those turnarounds, and we we would like to not to see those turnarounds. But there's a there's a certain point that we will be seeing turnarounds. Uh, most of the time, it's Agatha. You kind of want to skip turnarounds on Bruno if you can, and typically using any extra items will get you turnaround on Bruno. If you are like really good at item management, you can actually even get turnarounds to not happen at Agatha, but I've only ever done that once in any of my run attempts. Oh, turnaround skip on Agatha. Yeah, it, you'd have to have pretty good special attack for that kind of stuff. And just, you know, get lucky in other fights too, where yeah. you don't have to heal as much. Or just hit some Hydro Pumps. That too, but I don't think any of our runners are going to go for... I, at least I'm assuming none of our runners well, are going to we'll go see, for... Well, we'll see, right? Um, yeah. Yozarian is now um, a, a bit behind and may try to catch up. Um, like, So there might be some risks taken here. Yeah, no, I'm not here to say that there won't be risks taken, but... It'll be interesting to see what kind of risk. I mean, Yozarian, if he has, like, really good special attack, he might be able to take those risks, but if we've seen that low speed, and if he's saying it's minimum speed, uh, I have a bit... Min, I was corrected, but it's very close to minimum. Yeah, it was, like the, it was be... the low lowest stat at 45. 
Okay. We're gonna hopefully see. We're gonna hope he has enough speed for rival five. I don't think he will, unfortunately. Um, the the metric I know is that when you're teaching hydro pump, you need like eighty six or eighty seven speed, and this one had eighty three. Yes. Also, for those who have not played Let's Go and only have played the original Counter games, uh, the bin puzzle is always the same. We're not making that joke. I, I wasn't even going to mention it. But, I mean, there's some people who haven't played Let's Go and played other Counter games, so we just have to make sure. I'm, I'm here to get people that have as few bingos on their card as possible. Yeah, uh, and also the other reason why we choose to do the gyms so, so late is simply because uh, we can just Skull Span and not have to care. We just take in, well, technically Scarlet and Violet took a page out of this game's book but in that regard, but yeah, we just, we don't have to set up, we don't have to do anything, we can just uh, go. Yeah. And have fun. Let's go is fun. Let's go can be, let's go is fun when it wants to be. Most when of the does time. it want to be? When does it not want it to be? Uh, when you're speedrunning. Oh, okay. Or when you're trying to go for PB paces, and then the game just would be like... <laughs> Unless you're a cheer Saiyan, sometimes that's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. We, most runners have to kind of bend to the game's will. These two runners, Echi and Saiyan, uh, bend the game to their will. True. Either through plot armor or just being really good. High five from Eevee there. Um, Yozarian is a fellow split on the high five person, just like me. And everyone else who's normal will just spit on Flayed to Black because it's way easier. No, that's mostly just you and Etiquette. Yeah, it's on the high five. Wait, all right. You know what? If someone could do a poll, could we do a poll of where do you split Flayed to Black or high fives? No, we gotta play Hangman instead. Well, we could talk. We could play Hangman or. We, we can, can talk, talk about, about blue. Yeah, I'm I'm done to talk about blue. What's blue? Uh, he's well, well in red and blue was a rival, but in this fight he just shows up and be like, "Hey, uh, you're gonna take on the Silphco? Uh, before you do that, uh, let's fight." That that's blue. Etiquette is correct. Blue is indeed a color. That is also true, but in this game he's also a character that has the only Pokemon in the entire game that. Uh, Starmie cannot hit for neutral or super effective. Yes, Executor. We all hate Executor. Yes, yeah, so instead we have either... We have a strat to deal with Executor, either the safe strat, which is a bub, called Dodrio, or the risky strat, which is called Fire Blast. Or there's the niche strat, which is if you have a Magmar. Yeah, but that strat's not gonna happen today. Sadly. No, it's not. But if you if you manage to catch a magmar, which is not an easy thing to do all the time, uh, you're able to uh, just I think it's just X attack and a fire punch or X special and flamethrower. I think both yeah, work. You have to force with uh, magma yeah. Astra. So that it one's did. also safe. But if you're using just the rapid ash, you have to hit an 85 percent fire blast. Whereas Dodrio just says uh, X special, uh, sorry X attack and drill pick, and it's over. And there goes the Charizard. Uh, goodbye, Charizard. I wish you were seen less. Uh, there is technically, you can technically do X attack do duo as well, but that is more of a range for you to have to hit. Yes, but it is still hit. doable, if I remember correctly. So it that's neat. Doable. Now we go into everyone's favorite fight. Uh, yes, fight Archer has, 2. This fight has nothing that can go wrong. Absolutely, Absolutely no. nothing. And because we all like this fight so much, every turn takes extra long. So, so yeah. you can enjoy it more. Yeah, we get to enjoy it for extra long. So please yeah. enjoy this terrible, terrible fight. I think this fight is longer than any... Actually, that's not true. I was going to say that this fight is longer than every Skull and, any Skull and Violet fight, but that's 100%. Larry true. would like a word. Yeah. Yeah. Larry's cutscene is longer than this fight. Oh, no, I not think even it actually is. is. The DLC fight will also like to have a word with me. When oh, okay. I see. Um, I've never played the DLC, so I don't know. So uh, I, I did pull the chat. I did notice that. 78% splits on high five. Of all people in the world. Oh no, poke attacks. No, no. Oh no. No, that's a terrible archer. That's paralyzed oh, no, turn one thunderbolt. Jones archer. Oh no. No, don't say that. That's even worse than this. No, 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 that is, no, it's thunderbolt paralyzed, fully paralyzed. 
I think. Did it, we did don't it, speak did, of the Mocha Jones Archer. Did it minimize? Did the it minim actually, uh, don't know if it minimized. I don't know if it did or not, actually. We're about to find out the hard way. Toxic. Oh, and it toxic to the Cubone. What's going on? Did Psychic miss? No, he healed. Okay. No, he paralyzed is what happened the first I time. Psychic didn't get to go it's off. Not as bad as the Mocha Jones fight. But I think the Muck may have protected, but... Yeah, Thunderbolt Paralysis is not good. Toxic on Cubone is... You can live with that. Oh, oh my oh, god, no, never no, mind. No. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, shoutouts to Cubone. Thanks, uh. buddy. Okay, I saw fully power in minimize. If Cubo didn't hit, then we would have a uh, a time and a half. Yeah, I'm glad. Well, Cubo is somehow putting in some work, so we'll take it. Um, but what we really need now is for Starmie to just have a turn off. That's not going to happen apparently. Um, so we can heal the paralysis and just go try to have a normal fight after and this. Now we can heal. Yeah, we can heal now. But yeah, but oh, it is a rough archer. This Pokotex, is, this, Pokotex already buying, rest, restoring items, like, really health here, because with two super potions... Pokotex apparently predicted been... that this archer was going to be this bad. Yeah. This actually gives Ozarian, like, the chance of actually now catching up, which is really nice, and yeah. Well, thanks, that, thanks that, for, for potioning. That's yeah, that great. depends on, uh, that depends on this archer going a little better for Ozarian, which we can't count an, out on happening until it happens. And yeah, yeah. Th this is why you Vermilion Shop, because, huh. Can you imagine if if um, Pokatax didn't Vermilion Chop? He would just be, he'd be on Rapidash. Cubone would be dead. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually goes for another shop after this. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised yeah. either because Caroline exists and Caroline can be really mean. And also, we're gonna finally see the red P Pidgeot Pidgeot in this fight. Yeah, Pidgeot is less rare than Raichu, but happens. Um, also, I've just noticed that Yuzarian doesn't have Dodrio yet, so we're about to see Fire Blast on Blue. Yep, yes we are. And it's like, if you see, if you think Fire Blast is bad, don't worry, uh, wait till you see the Hydro Pumps. Yeah, for Eevee, if you catch Dodrio Lost, which Yuzarian did, uh, you just, like, you don't get enough EXP for it. I guess it's the same for Pikachu, but... Yeah, it's the same for yeah. Pikachu. If you don't have many catches afterwards, it's just not enough. Yeah, it's which actually, is the downside of not having a lot of catches in game. Yeah, it's also actually slightly more uh, interesting in Pikachu because in Pika, uh, because of how you want to kind of delay your party menu, you might not even get, you might do 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 it won't even get experience, start get experience until uh, Scientist Ted. So. That's true, and can some strats, uh, Doduo is used as the dual Pokemon in that fight, uh, and it'll die to Ted. And if you decide yeah. not to bed heal, you're just gonna have to evolve it later. Yeah. So, yeah, Pokétex getting like the most, one of the second most atrocious Archer fight in the entire in the entire game. Uh, I still think that um, uh, Mocha Jones has the worst one. That one was pretty bad. Yep. I mean, that one didn't finish, so that's default the worst one. Yeah, I, I guess yeah, that's but true. That, that was also Mocha Jones not wanting to finish. Yeah, that and I, I, that, after I, all the stuff I, that happened, I don't blame that necessarily. Yeah, I, I talked it with him about it afterwards and was like, I'm, I'm just done. He was just done at that point, and I think he could have finished that fight and probably gone faster than Pokédex did here. Possibly, yeah. But that yeah. um, also at the time, I think Mocha was relatively new to the game and was having yeah. trouble trying to figure out exactly how to get out of that situation. So I, I respect the the DNF in that round for sure. Though yeah. uh, Mocha Jones has since gotten a couple PBs under his belt, and I'm excited to see what he does in round three. So that's pretty cool. I also just want to you know, very quickly just talk about like I still think that's still technically the worst because while Yozara didn't get minimized turn one, Mocha did. Wait, you got Thunderbolt minimized, so I still True. think that's like, yeah. On the boat, fully paralyzed, minimized. That is still arguably the yeah. one. Yeah, no, that's that's but, fair. Yeah, but, fine. So, but Yazarian's not going to get that. He he's going into Archer two right now. Yeah, for Yazarian's sake, I just hope that the fight is okay. I would like for this race to be close, so I want Yazarian to catch up. But I I also because I, I guess Yazarian's already been through a, a bit. Yeah, uh, with 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 the error that was made. Yeah, so let's have a look. Uh, we like to see. Yeah, okay, so no good start. Good start. Good start. Protect. 
Uh, the best thing you could see here is Cubo would actually go for focus energy because then it could just crit more stuff. No. No, it didn't get focus energy, but um, maybe it'll focus energy on this turn, which is okay. Uh, no, I think you just want it to attack, ideally. I don't know. The yeah. AI is not good. Yeah. No, you just want Boomerang. Yeah. You want focus energy if you get the perfect turn one, but if you don't get the perfect turn one, then you just want to see uh, Cubo just smacking the, the rat. Smacking. No, 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 not, 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 not headbutting. Uh, smacking with the bone, please. Smacking, yep. Yeah. But aside from that, I think this is going, depending on how much Sucker Punch does, this is actually a very good fight for Yazarian. Yes, and um, we still have Caden and Caroline to go through. And of course, we all know that Caroline is the final judge of all Let's Go speedruns. Um, and we'll decide if your time is actually good or not going into the Elite Four. Okay, I was going to say that, you know, the final judge is, if you're, depending on one, if you're doing 1B strats or 2B strats, it's uh, the champion. But... Well, actually, that fight isn't even fully safe on 2P, which is unfortunate, but here we are. Yeah. So, yeah. So, but, yeah, but I, I think, like, the major gatekeeper comes yeah. down to Caroline. Yeah. Yeah, if you I'm, saw I'm, if you saw Razor's uh, Caroline... Uh, or like, even um, the the one with Randall, Amber, and Headbomb's race, that, that race decided to put Amber in first by, like, a couple seconds and wound up maintaining that lead, so... Yeah. I just want... I mean, let's face it, the run is not over until you Thunderbolt Slowbro. That is correct, yes. I am right there with you agreeing that, like... Uh, uh, even because in Eevee you have the chance of misclicking, whereas you don't so much in Pikachu. Um, but you know your controller could have drift. Who knows? You, you, um, you can misclick. You can misclick in Pikachu depending on whether or not you do Thunderbolt or Psychic the Pidgeot. It does. True. Yeah. But most of the time you will not. Um, well, most of the time you should you should not accidentally psychic slow, bro. In yeah. Pikachu. But, but again, the, the grunt's not over until um, the thunderbolt goes on the slow, bro. Right. So we have to. It's we're gonna see what happens in the next forty-ish minutes. I mean, if you want to be more, if you want to be that guy, it's technically the run is not over until Hall of Fame fade to black. True, but I don't think there's gonna be any instances in this particular race where someone's waiting. <laughs> on that screen. I mean, I don't. I also don't think there's going to be any. Ins I don't think this game has like crashing problems, so I don't think it's not like. A well, well game don't don't say now. that because then it might happen. Okay. Yes, I'm. I'm the one who's going to be bringing in the uh, crash strats for Let's Go Pikachu. Sure. I think I've seen the game crash at least once, but I can't remember now. This is the mo This is absolutely the most stable Pokemon game in on on the Switch, which is saying something. Anyway, yeah, Pokétex is the one that did the early shop, right? So I don't think. I mean, that Archer fight was so bad. I think you might want to buy a few extra Hyper Potions just in case. Uh, it's tough. I I um I almost think you do because like also you you're almost out of full heals. Um, yeah. at that point. So, it's like, well, do you want more full heals if something goes wrong on Victory Road? Um, Pokétax is, oh yeah, going to get Porygon, so. Yeah. You know, Porygon absolutely, you know, free, free is, it's just, people say Magikarp is the fastest catch in the game, I want to make the argument that Porygon is the fastest catch in the game. I believe it's been timed, and actually Magikarp is slightly faster. Oh, Magikarp is like, okay, I guess it's more in the way. It is more on the way. Um, this one is technically on the way, but you do have to kind of like go around that section yeah. of Saffron a little bit more. Also, he's not shopping, so forget what I said. Hey, what's up, cool. Oh, hey, what's up, Allo? Yeah, sorry about the DNF stuff, but yeah, I couldn't handle That was it. tough. <laughs> no, that was a tough situation. I we, we think you did a pretty good job trying to adapt, but totally understand the, the DNF there and GG's. Yeah, this morning I, I, I did a run for practicing and I forget to teach a double kick, so te not teaching T-Ball this afternoon was like too much. You know? No, totally. There's um there's a lot of moving parts in this speed run. Uh, yeah. <laughs> for forgetting yeah. stuff when you're new is easy. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Like like you said earlier, I'm used to the are you sure you want to delete this? Yeah. Run? And yeah, the auto the autopilot too like you have several moves you don't teach because everyone is leveling up, so... 
totally, yeah. For me, that yeah. was my, I don't know, my Kakuna learning Arden or something, and I was like, nah, I don't, I don't want that. Oh, For sure, that was yeah. Pika 21. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a big mistake. Yeah, that'll happen. That's okay. You're going to do great in round three to make up for it. Yeah, um, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I think it's a Gen 7 thing where they started the taking away the are you sure? Because I think many people complained that we don't want this feature anymore. I guess you're like now the first person ever who wishes. Well, and it, it, was, it was confusing too, right? Because I think at one point they like... They kept in the two prompts, but they changed it from like stop to from like are you sure, yes and no to like stop learning this. And I remember it was just confusing, and it's like, can we just take this away? And it's just about the not teaching stuff because when you teach a new move and you don't want it, it's asking you if you, are you sure you don't want it. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've changed why? It in this game. Like, they have changed that. Yeah, no, it's it's yeah. it's super frustrating, especially from someone. Yeah. I'm I think that's played so many other Pokemon games. It's just like you have to get used to it, and that takes time. Yeah, but at least that 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 showed me then I'm not a, a Switch fan like about Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. I want my DS back. I, I cannot, <laughs> I cannot uh, use the Joy-Con anymore. You're just used to the DS runs, um, yeah. but at least this DBA game and has DS. some interesting stuff happening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I have to say, I enjoy Let's Go more than I ever thought I would be, so... It's a really interesting run. Um, almost yeah. every run is different because of the catch routes being so variable, and there's something cool about that. Yeah, being able to run with the Starmie is the cool part, too. Like, yeah. You have several main but like around the run, so it's cool. It's cool, for sure, yeah. Um, are you are you looking forward to going again in round three? Mm, what do you mean, the time, the goal time? Well, a goal time or just to race again? Yeah, sure. I will. Uh, I will definitely do round three, and I will finish my run because I don't want to be the you know the worst time on the tourney. Because at, <laughs> at the moment it is. <laughs> you'll do uh, fine. I'm sure you'll do fine. Te technically, yes, but I mean. We did Technically, have like Technically Burner finished at like 350ish. Yeah, but that was changed into a DNF. Yes, because it was longer than 340. So Okay. Well 345. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, I did 335 on the wrong one. So. Don't worry, next time you're gonna be way faster. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 even after the tourney I will go for three oh X and I'm done after that. Perfect. No, that's that's fantastic. Uh, love to see that kind of thing from new from newer runners. It just means that this game is fun enough to grind that long, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like I, I've worked not as I could, like Yaxo, for example. I know he's working a lot offline, and I didn't. But I work too much to just leave without no result, you know, at this point. Hell yeah. yeah. No, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be super fun to see everybody get those big PBs. And so uh, what, what do you like about this game? running a lot of other games what makes uh, this game fun or special the, the graphics i have to say this is it's nice looking hey I, it's let's go and i'm enjoying watching it more than like a scarlet one yeah it it's actually one of the best looking pokemon games on the switch which is kind of funny to say yeah but the motion control stuff is hard i am not it is it's frustrating when you throw the ball and you don't throw like straight. You miss the excellent, you don't have enough XP after that, then you do misty late and you lose time and you're frustrating and blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, you, you we saw you did like you got a lot of extra catches early on already to make up for yeah. like slightly er, er, too early or too late throws, like you had the Pidgey in Forest already. Yeah. Yeah, because I was level 8 before Brog, and I was like, nah, 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 no way yeah. I'm doing that, I need to catch something. But no, that I, makes I, sense. Di I didn't use a lo I'm not used to um, every situation to, like, in the forest at the beginning, every Pokemon was glowing. So after using my lure, I was like, okay, uh, who is who, you know? Oh, like, which one's going after the lure? Yeah, yeah. That's, that can be tough if there's a lot of Pokemon on your screen already. And when I exit the forest, I heard a Bulbasaur and I was like, fuck, I missed that. But yeah, I didn't want to go back to That's a hard catch, so I don't blame you for that one. And I was watching the race too, and yours, yours sorry, uh, has a very good early and good catch. 
Yes. Okay, Taxi was like very far away from me, so I was like, yeah, I need to just hope good catches and still, you know, go. Yeah, well, I it's it shows that there's a lot that can happen, and the experience is really something in learning how yeah. all of the different situations interact with each other. Yeah, we'll um, wait from now. Wait you'll, the, yeah. The excellent pro. <laughs> yep, no, it's all in the learning, right? Um, did did Yozarian forget to teach Thunderbolt? Uh, no. no. Okay, I must have just made a little mistake because it has oops in chat. Uh, I don't know what, right. what happened. Uh, I was just keeping track of Poke Attacks. Uh, hey. He did get poisoned turn one by Toxic. Uh, oh, okay. Did not choose to heal, but did not get punished for it. So That's only good. lost one turn. Yozarian didn't kill uh, Mr. Mime and could have, like, oh. didn't, didn't, didn't do half. So, could have probably gone for like a Hydro Punk. Oh, I see, okay. Alright, but yeah. thanks again for the commentary, guys. I'm just gonna no problem, thanks, thanks for the race. Oh. And rest, thank you again. Yeah, and GG's. See you about round three. Yeah, yeah. see you for round the, three. The draws will be after this, so stick around. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll be. Yeah, have yeah. the best race, there'll be draws. Uh, just about half an hour the... 45. Not sure if it'll be a wheel or if it'll be slots. They'll probably I expect have to... it'll be slots. It probably should be slots, but you you you'll be you could be surprised. We'll I, find out. I, I I know, but I won't spoil. Well, too bad. Sp Sandy already spoiled it for you. Ah. Yeah. So. Right. So yeah, I, I just want to say that you know, learning this game is also. Uh, it's definitely an, uh, an experience. It's hard, yeah. Like, it's a fun game that, like, you can pick up if things go well right away, but it's really hard to master because so many different things can happen every run. You have to try and learn how to adapt, and that can really only come with experience. Yeah, other, other Pokemon games just seem to be a little bit more like, this should, this always happens, if that doesn't yeah. happen, then that. This one's definitely more, like, crazy and more, more like, wacky and more, like, you know, this could happen. You may maybe if you're lucky enough, you can get yourself a super sized chance and get to double edge way before you're supposed to. Or you get, uh, you know, sometimes you just don't get high enough level and you just have to be like, well, fudge, and I have to adapt. Or if you choose to run minus attack or minus special attack Pikachu or Eevee, you have to ask yourself, uh, what, what, am, what the hell am I doing here? And yeah, you have to uh, question all of your life's choices, um, because it got you to this point. And also uh, ask yourself, what is like the strats that you're supposed to do? Or if you accidentally forget Thunderball or Double Kick, it's like, what's the plan now? Or if you forget to evolve Staryu. <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah, I, that, that too. I, I was talking like with some other people yesterday about it, and Let's Go is like a very frustrating game. It's very fun to run, yeah. but can also get you like really frustrated very quickly and like in a way like way more than other games can because other games often have like fights that can go annoying, but you can at least prepare for that. You know which fights yeah. are like getting difficult and yeah. in Let's as, Go just um, everything can happen. Yeah, as tournament runner J Tattles would say, I love Let's Go five minutes later, yo, F Let's Go. Yeah, Let's Go is a mean. He's a meme game sometimes. Yep. It's like... Speaking of memes, um, Yozarian's on Caden. Let's see how this fight goes. Well, I, was, I won't say meme, I'll say meme, but yes, Caden is also very, very meme. Well, Let's Go is mean, but also memes. So, you know. I don't know which game is like the meanest game of, of them all. Of them all. That was a little bit <sighs> That's of That's like maybe BDSP. Double talk. We've seen three toxics so far in this, in this, in this tournament. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Come on, oh, you can do it, Yaz. Oh, oh no. okay. Please. That was protect. That was protect. Put, 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 put. Is it? Okay. It's fine. It's over. Goodbye. A couple wasted turns, but nothing super bad happened there to Yazarian. We got the we we healed the toxic. Yeah, there was a protect involved, but we were able to get through that without too much trouble. Pumping okay. the bean drill for funsies. It's it got it hit. We're fine. It's okay. We're still in this race. We're a little behind, unfortunately, if you're Yozarian, but, you know, things can happen. We'll see what Poketax chooses to do in the in the late game. There still could be time for Yozarian to catch up. 
also, I was not paying attention on Yozarian's screen. Did he or did he not buy A, the X defense, and B, the X special defense? Unfortunately, because of the early shop, I did not see this either. So unless someone in chat saw, we're all gonna have to be surprised together. Yes. Also, Mega Stones? This is such. Are we gonna see Mega Evolution? Crisis, we're trying not to yes. get the commentary bingo. Yes. Oh. I mean, yes, we, we got four. Mega up. <laughs> yes, we will. We did yeah. get four mega stones. Oh, we're not using them. Of course not. They're for Pokemon yeah. we don't usually it's catch in this run. The they are mega. So yes, it does make sense that megas are in this game. They removed the Gen Eight, but they might bring it back. But they are bringing it back. Well, they they teased something megas coming back for Pokemon Legends ZA, uh, and I'm excited because I liked Pokemon Legends Arceus, but I hope that. Mainly, I hope that they keep the overworld catching thing, because that was so much fun for me. Yeah, I can't wait. I, I mean, I hope the abilities are back. I can't wait to use a huge power mango mobile again. Oh, that sounds interesting. I, I just would like a Pokemon game that runs above 30 FPS. I know that that's too much to ask for in 2024, but mm -hmm. I can hope. Look, at Scarlet and Violet, you hope to get at least 20. In a good day. Yes, and um, we're now in Giovanni's gym for Poke Attacks, which is um, apparently in the last this round of the tournament, at least um, one of the harder places for our runners. Oh, um, I we know have to hand. make sure that we properly do the gym puzzle, and we, if we die to Geo, we know what we're doing to get back to Geo. Yes, I've learned the hard way that I do not know how to get back to Geo if I die to Geo. Normally, I should normally what I do is I save before Geo, but I but. Oh, you know, brace pressure, and you kind of think, don't think about. You forget doing... stuff. It, there's the brace pressure is real. Um, I will say that because like a, not a lot of people um, have viewership like our races do. Some people don't stream at all when they're doing runs. Um, you're also trying to race another person, and if it's close, you like I have to do everything perfectly. And if I'm if I mess up at all, that's bad. And then that means you do things faster than you should, and then you mess up. Yeah. Uh, Bizarian, you just okay. He's just contemplating life a little bit. Yeah, Ozarian needed a moment to go, oh right, I have to do Geo's puzzle. I don't want to do yeah. that. Alright, so, uh, we are seeing a the two-piece strat on, uh, what's this trainer's name? Samuel. Samuel, there it is. So Clearly, are, Crisis has never uh, died to Samuel. Yeah, there are a few strats that you can do here. Uh, typically, the, the most common strat is Scold plus an, 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 an X special attack. If you're Special attack is high enough, you can actually go for Psychic plus Stomp, and that is guaranteed if your Stami has at least 138 special attack. Yep. Uh, it's a range in, if you have 128, but it's a favorable one at that. As it stands right now, um, Poketax is probably far enough ahead that um, he can do 2C strats for all of these dangerous fights, and I would. Um, some of these fights are, are really risky, and if you don't need to risk it, don't. Um, yeah. Yozarian might be taking some risks. Um, Yozarian is slow, so there's going to be a couple places where that's going to really come into play, in particular on Rival 5. Um, yeah. But has good enough special attack to take a couple risks if desired. Yeah, we do see Poketex do go for the 2P strap for Giovanni. Pikachu does already have the X Defend from ages ago, so can also can choose if you want to go for 1P. But yeah, I think at this point... Poke attacks. If he just plays everything safe, I think I don't think there's enough fights that Yozarian can catch up. I think Yozarian has to be really, really lucky with a lot of fights to go his way with one piece strats just to even barely catch up. Yep. Uh, you know, unless you know two piece strats, uh, but there's plenty of fights that can go poorly for Poke attacks, even with two piece strats. Like yep. uh, this fight, if Rapidash for some reason lives, you're gonna lose a lot of time. Oh, you mean like, like that? that. <laughs> yep, that's so, gonna lose some time, um, because um, you get a little bit more time loss for having the 2P out than you would if it died. Y you still have a little bit of, of the lag r remaining, but it's worse when the Pokemon's actually there. And now um, you have to do menus. However, there is one bright side. You can just, you know, do all the healing now yes. instead of later. So that is one bright side. You don't have to spend a menu to heal. Uh, you don't have to heal anymore. You can heal Star Me if you want to play it like super safe, but you don't actually need to heal. Yeah, you, you can just psych us. Uh, gold Stomp Spam. Where's yeah, I think... 
Sorry. Sorry. Well, it's Canadian standoff over here on commentary. Hey, sheep, what's up? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, not too much. Am I uh, honorary Canadian now? I, I mean, if Phoenix was European earlier, then... Uh, yeah, um, technically, um, I, I think, like, I'm a member of the Commonwealth, so that's why I'm technically European. So there's that. Yeah. And Crisis so, well, is also a member of the that. Commonwealth. Really? I actually don't know where Red Crisis is from. You know, take a guess. A place uh, that's in Europe. Yeah, I mean, you, you've crossed the four countries, yep. Yeah. Great, yeah, correct. Okay. Oh, yeah, Zan is doing One Piece strats. I'm not surprised. I figured he would. Uh, good luck on hitting this pump, Yuzarian. Yeah, this is like with his. Yuzarian has bad special attack. Nope, Yuzarian's the one with bad speed. Oh, okay. Yeah, Pog Attacks is the one with bad special attack. Okay, yeah, then it's fine. I mean, yeah, you oh, can say. Again. Yeah, you can say that my country is part of the Commonwealth. In fact, you can say that my country, I think, created the Commonwealth. Ah, okay. I think that probably gives you a hint of where I am. Oh, uh, did Yozarian hit the pump? I think he hit the pump, right? He hit yeah. the pump, yeah. It worked okay. out perfectly fine for Yozarian. Um, I wonder if we're going to see one CGO. Uh, please save if you're doing one CGO, or at least know how to get back. Yeah, one of the two. At least know how to get back or save. I think saving might technically... I mean, technically not saving is faster if you just, you know, get the fight and You are full HP. Actually, actually, you're not full HP, but you are high enough HP that uh, you shouldn't need to heal before Geo. But uh, I've learned from, last, from my last race that I am absolutely going to be healing for Geo. Yazarian uh, is going one CGO. So he does, he did buy the X Defend, which w would mean that he probably also has the X Special Defenses as well. And yes, Yuzarian is going to try and catch up as much as he can. Thanks for a good to... race. I'm excited to see this work out for him. Well, but keep hope. in mind that um, Yuzarian likely will not outspeed the Pidgeot on the fight that Pokétax is on right now. Um, so that's going to be a little bit of an extra wrinkle. So we're going to have to see how that goes. Yeah. Seeing sand attack is not going to be. I mean, who That's not going to happen. Ain't no way. First, 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 let's get see. First, let's get past Giovanni, and then we get. Holy <laughs> gosh! Okay, let's that's the turn. One. That's the turn you want to get crit on if you get crit on Giovanni. But holy crap! <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, just a little bit scary. And slash is always a scary move because it does have a higher crit rate. No, it's fine, Yuzarian. That's you got the crit out of the way. We're good. It's okay. <laughs> Here's the thing, you didn't die. That's the most important part. Right? That you, if you did, if you died, then I would be like, oh no. But you didn't, so you're fine. And the rest of the fight is pretty simple for you, Zarian, just Skull Spam. And now we are heading to uh, the Elite. Well, not the Elite Four quite yet. We, have, we still have a road before then. Apparently, this is a category in Skull and Violet, but you know. And not just any old road, it's a road full of victories. Yes, this is where you get to tell people that you have all the badges, isn't that fancy? Yes, it's also the route where we get to do the funnest part of the game. What's that? We get to push a rock 20 times. Oh, okay. That's the, that, that, that's the gameplay experience we all want to do. Absolutely. But yeah, we're doing badge check. Uh... I actually have uh, things that are a little bit more interesting. Like I've always been interesting, like in, when it comes to games and bad checks, and like what flags do ch games check for. Obviously, in Let's Go, because of these peep, because of the uh, badge check guard, they're always you have to get all the badges beforehand. But I always find it interesting when in some games you don't actually need all the badges. Yeah, to I do. Actually... I think it's um BDSP. If you get there, they assume that you have all the badges, right? I think so. I just know that in I just know and I always remember this in Emerald. The only badge the badge check people only check for is Gym Six. That's weird. 
because every other badge is tied to a HM that is required to beat the game, except for uh, fly. Okay. And since gem badge six gives you fly, and technically you can continue the plot without fly, the game just be like, you know what? Uh, if you don't have the only badge we're gonna check is badge six. Um, golden silver yeah, actually has a really fun one. Uh, Pocket Tax is doing two P by the way, not one P. That's good. But, yeah, there's also uh, in 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 Gen One. I uh, I think you can't fight Champ until you beat. Uh, until you fight Lance. It's Agatha, no, Agatha, I think. Oh, you have to beat that's Agatha interesting. To be able to fight Chem. That's interesting. What a weird flag. And also, I think one of my most interesting flags is in Gen Two. Uh, you cannot fight the Elite Four until you get eight badges, but it doesn't check which eight badges you get. Okay, Yozarian is through the Pidgeot, which is good. Um, now we just got to make sure that we have used the X Speed, we've used the X Special Attack. Um, and as long as, yeah, we scald for, for good measure, um, and then we should be, yeah, XP turn two, perfect, where we should be through the fight now, as long as we click the right moves. Yeah. That is the, of course, the, uh, big, big if. That is the big, that is the big if, um, but hopefully we remember to click the right moves. Yeah, so it should just be Psychic Spam from now on. So, that's not the big issue. Ideally, you would like, I was gonna say, ideally, you would like to see, like, Marowak come out second or third however i actually saw the psychic counts and it wouldn't have mattered yeah because... no i think that might have been why yozarian scalded the marowak actually no oh, no if it comes out second you always scold you always scold it oh okay right because uh plus two psychic i believe is a range to kill that that sounds right you're right i believe etchy missed in his first race oh is that why he missed okay i i wasn't paying enough attention I might be wrong on that, but I believe that is the case. So, uh, lesson learned: do not, uh, if your Smyrak comes out second, do not uh, scold. Do not, do not. Another psychic lesson it. learned: always X speed turn two. Yes, this is not Gen Eight, but, but let me remind: Gen Eight introduced dynamic speed. This is a Gen Seven game, so this is something that people sometimes do not remember about this game. I, I'm not gonna lie; I did actually kind of like Gen Seven. I wish that there was less, like, tutorial in Gen 7, but I thought the games were, like, oh, the mechanics they introduced were fun. Also has a pretty sick speedrun, in my opinion. Albeit I, long and I, never I, It's long, so, you know, I'd I never want to try it, but I'm told it's not bad. I think it has a pretty, pretty cool speedrun. All right, Poketax is going to push a boulder, get a free heal, and then do um, the other really cool non-mount skip in this run, um, Alexa, where you've got to hug the bottom of the, um, the terrain, basically, to despawn your mount, and then sneak right past Alexa. She should be able to see you, but trainers in Kanto are blind, we all know this. Yeah. Uh, we should also probably mention, uh, we are doing any percent no mount skips. There are mount skips in this game that can actually now be done with Rapidash, but it requires, um, very Special precise, controllers. Yeah. precise setups, to say the least, and so it's not necessarily beginner-friendly, and you don't really want to, like, have a category where it's like, oh, you've done the entire game, now it's time for you to do extremely precise setups to skip trainers. Makes for a really interesting, um, dual speedrun where I've definitely seen a couple folks do a run and then decide when they get their star if they want to do any percent or if they want to do any percent no mount skips. Yeah. It's also and not the now, main path on this board. And now for Pokotex, we have Caroline. We talked about Caroline, oh, Caroline. a lot. Alright. Uh, so and this fight one... can go wrong in so many ways. Yes, and Honestly? let's see which way it goes wrong this time. I'm gonna be honest, I would l actually think Ice Beam Freeze would actually just be the best thing because it just tells you just go for Scold anyway. Or like a Lovely Kiss Miss, if that's a thing that can happen. That's um, I yeah. See, hit the pump. Okay, Poke Attacks had like one of the easiest Carolines I've seen this round. Yeah. Um, so I think that if Poke Attacks 2 sees the Elite Four, um, he's in really good shape to take first. Yeah. There's also, there's also a question does Poke Attacks know the. Uh, 
special two C strats? Does he know bud strats, lapras strats, or whatever? That's a good strat? question. I'm not entirely sure if Pokétax does know, or if he knows the um the e the ever increasingly popular Pikachu strats to use Lapras. Um, if we, as long as Pokétax is aware of those strats, it'll be a nice, safe elite four. Pokétax does have low special attack, so I'd like to see those come out, regardless. Wait, um, wait, but we're gonna see. Wait. Pikachu strats into black white what? Yeah, so um, it's better on Pikachu, but it can be done on Eevee, and I've seen it done on Eevee, but um, Dynam and Sandy last year stayed up until very early in the morning and developed some strats to use Lapras in the Elite Four. Oh, yeah. um, Etiquette had originally developed the 2C Agatha strats, where you get a bird or a fish, and you use that as your 2C partner to get through Agatha as fast as possible, and it's very safe. Um, and there's also some strats where you can get through Lance in a similar way. Um, but in, uh, I forget why it is in Pika that Lapras works better, um, but Lapras strats are nice and fast, and they're really good for if you have a range on Dragonite, because Lapras knows Ice Shard. So they can just do that jet damage, and you don't have to worry about the range at all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so it'll be interesting if he actually does know the, uh, if he doesn't have a, if he doesn't have a strat, uh, if he doesn't, it will be it will be telling if he picks up the full restore. If he picks up the full restore, then he's probably going for one P Agatha at the very least. If not, then we probably know something about the two P strats for Agatha because I don't even know what the I mean I kind of now know what the two P strats for Agatha are now because I've seen plenty of people do it. Uh, I have them in my notes, um, and I'll pull that up actually for when we come through the Elite Four. But we yeah. we won't see them unless we see Pokétax skip the full restore at the end of Victory Road. Yeah, I, I mean we we will already see it like based on the menuing they do if they deposit or if they switch. That too, yeah. Like yeah. swapping a Pokémon if it's a fish or a bird. Yeah, that, that, that's also like a clear indication. Or if Pokétax wants to be. Uh... Bola, they can also just say, you know what, we're putting Rapidash back in the box. Yeah, go for PB. Go for PB. That would be, that would be risky, but I would respect the play. And I don't actually know if the Pokétax is on PB pace. I'm guessing not, because Elite 4 is about 13 minutes-ish? 13, 14 minutes? Uh, and I think Pokétax has a 303, 305. Picking up the full restore, so we might see some Agatha 1C strats. That's interesting. Yeah. Might, might just not know what the, what the bird or fish strat is. Which, you know... Which, you know, is a little risky, but... It's also not in the beginner notes, so... Fair enough. Is it not? I thought the beginner notes did have race strats in them now. Uh, it may have, but at least from what I've checked last, they do not have bird or fish strats. They just make you do one Agatha. Okay, my... I, I thought I mean, that somebody notes. told me they added it. My notes are all race strats, but... Yeah. yeah. My, I mean, I, I, I'm I added the two C notes. notes to them. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to be saying that my notes, because my notes, I've deleted all the 2P strats, so I just go for 1P regardless, which... Yeah, I'm, I'm not fast enough yet at the game to want to do 1C, so I just have 2C, because they're not, like, too much slower. The the 2C Agatha fight fight is, like, barely slower than doing... Oh, Lapras yeah. strats! Let's okay. go, it's Lapras strats, Bingus in chat. Yeah, and it's... Uh, uh, oop, I think... <laughs> I th I think we timed it and like if once he goes fastest as possible, it's like 15 seconds faster over the entire E4. Yeah, so it's it's not bad and by any means. And it's something that like when you get to top level PB paces, like we're talking 30X, then you don't want to go for two controller strats, but honestly two controller strats are just safer for when you're learning the game, right? So I I, I still go for Two controller strats. I I don't want to waste three hours on I like a bad Agatha fight. I completely respect it. Yeah, I, or, I, I think it's a good I, idea. I, I did that to start out be, before we really like popularized the two C strats, and I had too many runs like not hit the Dragonite range and died to Dragonite. Yeah, no, I it, especially in this tournament, finishing a race is the best thing to do. You D, DNFs like they'll happen because you know you make a mistake and you just don't want to play the game anymore or you, you find yourself in a situation where trying to fix it would take way too long. Those are the situations where you just say, I'm done. But in this format, finishing a race is the best thing to do. Well, it does depend on... I guess later on we might be seeing more one-piece strats when races are tighter. Yep. 
Yeah, we might yeah. see um, a lot more one sees that in that point, which will be very interesting. I, I love a good close race. Yeah, well, we'll and, and, once and we get to racing, the point where 15 seconds matters. Yeah, and for racing, I mean, for us, it's a lot more exciting to watch one see strats because more oh, things yeah. can go wrong. Two see oh, strats yeah. are boring. We just know how the fight goes and. Yep, yeah. for us it's just like, yep, there's the two C strats. I do have Agatha pulled up so we can talk through it. Um, and I just want to see the level up that we get on Bruno. It is. It will be interesting to see what Yozarian chooses to uh, go for. Uh, whether he goes for one B strats or two B strats. Because you can finish a run, but I am also keeping in mind for the median time as well. That's true. I think uh, that at this point Yozarian is unfortunately too far behind to get more than like a 3... I, th I think a 311 or a 310 is probably the best Yozarian can hope for at this point, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so I think at this and point... That's, yeah, and that's you finish the, the race. Medium time. Yeah, I think at this point you finish the race and you see what happens um, because you can't catch up to Poke Attack's attorney at this point, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. but that's that's at least one point for Yozarian going into next round, um, and Yozarian's going to be a force to be reckoned with in in the bracket that he gets assigned, uh, because I'd because he forgot to te to evolve the Star you know I, I think that that will put him a little bit further down in the bracket, which you know will be a surprise to anyone he faces. We'll, we'll see what he goes for. Again, we still ha have to wait until Yozarian gets in. The elite in the in the indigo plateau before yeah. we say oh is he going for 1p is he going for 2p in theory like if you want to just finish the run you can go for 2p but if you want to make things well, a at this bit point quick. yozarian has very little to lose as long as he finishes a run he's getting a point he um, is 1p so you know what I respect it, because at this point, what what do you have to lose? You're probably not getting over the median time. As long as you finish your run, you're you're gonna get a yeah, point. Yeah, you, you're guaranteed second, regardless of what happens. Yeah. It's kind of like what happened, you know, in, in some other races where it's like, you're so far ahead from third place that you're guaranteed second. You may as well just try and see how fast you can get a time anyway. Yeah, and, why not? And it's like, you're not really in risk. Because like, as long as you don't go over 345, which I don't think Yozarin is going to do. No, I that, that would be a lot of failed Elite Fours if that was the case. And yeah. I mean, like, Poketax Attorney could make a mistake. And if that's the case, Yozarian is only a fight away now. So, yeah. well, I guess two fights away. Um, I also don't know how good Yozarian's special attack is, but, you know, being able to save Better time. than Poketax's, that's for sure. Good enough, apparently, to go for only plus four. Well, there you go. Let's see if he scolds or hydro pumps the... Um, the... The cloister? Now, the, not the cloister, the... Jinx. The, uh, the jinx, I know. The jinx, yes. Alright, so two... Okay, so the special attack is not good enough because uh, you missed the Lapras range. Oh, awkward. Um, okay, two C Agatha. So, you do the setup on the first three Pokemon in this one. So you X special attack on the Weezing UX speed as long as it's before the Gengar comes out, which is why you have a Pokemon that is weak to electric but not poison. So you can guarantee that the Weezing comes out before the Gengar. Uh, and then you do one more X special attack on the Gengar that comes out third. Uh, and then you get to, at the end, use the Hyper Potion and the Max Elixir in the battle instead of doing the menu before Lance. So that's why it can be comparable in terms of time save uh, between 1C and 2C Agatha. Um, so, nice straightforward fight for Poketax as long as he's got the notes up. Uh, so, fingers crossed that that is the case and Yozarian is through Lorelei and onto arguably the easiest of the Elite Four fights. Yeah. Uh, do note that there is a move that can happen and depending on uh, Yozarian's HP and how much damage Earthquake see does, we can see it. Nah, it's not real. I don't think it's real. Uh, there is also actually one thing to note. Uh, there is actually one big mistake that if Pokétex does do, can actually cost a lot, and that is do not ether the wrong move. Uh, that is true. This is indeed Pikachu. Uh, so it's not a Max Elixir like it would be for Eevee. It is an ether, so you have to make sure you ether Psychic. So please do that, Pokétex. Oh, wait, it's eight. It might be real. It's not real. What do you think, Sheep? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. We'll see. We'll see. 
So we've got a yes, no, and a maybe in chat. Well, it might be real. Let's see. I don't think it's real. Let's see if Yuzarian believes in it. Uh, get the level up. Is this a no yeah, this is a normal place for the level up. Yes, it is a normal place for the level up. 135 special attack. Two. That's not bad. Oh, that might be a range on Dragonite, though. We'll have, we'll have to see. You get one more level. You do get one more level, um, but you would need to get, get five. To We yeah. see a Dragonite. It's there. Um, like I mentioned yeah. earlier, um, the Lapras will be able to Ice Shard on that turn. Um, so no worries about a Dragonite range in Poke Attacks. And I think Poke Attacks' special attack is low enough that the range isn't good. So that's good to see. Uh, and the fastest way it's to 2C... The fa it's not real. See? Easy game. Um, the fastest way to 2C Lance is actually to summon the second controller either on the second turn or if you see Hyper Beam on, the I think, the third turn. See, it's, Faint's not real. Faint is the move that we were kind of alluding at there. Hitmonlee reportedly has Faint, which is a priority move that can do damage. And if you're at low HP like Yazarian was, there's a chance you can see Faint. Only a few runners have actually seen it, even if they've gotten to that low health. And I, at this point, I'm starting to think there's something wrong with their version card. I don't know. Um, but Yazarian did not get Faint. It's not real. Well, it's not real today. Oh, I don't think I have the one Pokemon. Anyway, uh, Lance is a very easy fight for, uh, thing. Uh, Agatha can be a bit scary. It does depend. You don't get, unfortunately, you didn't get the, uh, Path of Legends turn one. So, hoping to see you again turn Technically, two. Technically, uh, Path of Legends turn two is better. Um, because if you don't know what to do on Path of Legends turn one, um, we saw in, earlier in the tournament, it's, you can mess up how that's supposed to work. Um, so happy to see it there instead. And it looks like Yozarian should be able to get through the fight now. No no defense drop yeah. on the, the crunches there. Um, so it should be safe from anything. Yeah, so if Path of Origins does happen to HUD 1, you Psychic immediately. And then you set you up... You X Special Defense on the Weezing, right? Mm, you don't have to X Special Defense on the Weezing. Oh, I because... thought you did. My bad. Right? I'm not. I'm pretty certain you don't have to do that. See, I don't have that it. that those strats in my notes because my notes are just yeah. full two C to the end. Yeah. Um. Well, but I I thought you did. I'm pretty sure you just x you x speed on wheezing and that's about it because you're not really afraid of uh, wheezing's thunderbolt because it's a lower special attack that all books attack, but also there's one other thing. Yeah, yeah. It just does less damage. The only thing you're scared of is technically Thunderbolt power, but at that point you set up the X speed, so you just full restore anyway. Right, okay. And even then, you have power of love to get out of the uh, And you might get power. lucky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you just X special, X, and then you just X speed on Weezing, and you're fine. So, I am just quickly checking one And Poke Attacks is starting oh. champ while well, Crisis checks for that. No, I was just checking if... Yeah, no. Hitmonlee does have faint. It's just... It just sometimes just doesn't use it for some reason. It's it's incredibly rare. I even have in my notes, has faint, but incredibly rare, don't heal. Yeah. And instead, I would just go for Rock Slide, if, probably, because if it goes for it. It's actually very interesting, these weird movesets. For some reason, all the Elite Four members just have three moves on their Pokémon. Yeah, go figure. Uh, Let's Go is a weird game. Some of these movesets don't make a lot of sense, but here we are. Yeah, just very, very interesting. Anyway, uh, final uh, rival six or champion, as many people like to call it. Uh, there's Jesus Bird. For those who don't know, Mega Evolution does exist. It's in this game. You know that that's over ten years old. That reference. Yeah, I know. And does get the slash on Lapras, which is exactly what you want to see because you do want to see that. Sure, that's uh. Oh, you're just gonna go for the full setup. Yeah, that makes um, sense. Um, I don't think oh, I know, that's. Thunderbolt. Yeah, I don't think that's quick attack range. So I think you just um, he, quick attacks reminder has really mm -hmm. low special attack, and it's Pikachu. So you do want to go to plus six special. Um, so I respect just being like, yeah, I'm just gonna go here. 
because you don't want more turns that you could be exposed to an air slash yeah, crit. You, well, bad. It depend on your special attack, but you definitely want at the very least plus four. But yeah, plus six is definitely something that you want because Jolteon does have more special defense. Jolteon's a tanky boy. Now, I'm I haven't good. been watching Azarian, so we'll have to see what um, the special attack is in this upcoming level up to well, see if the dragon has a range. Thing, the setup went fine, so... Okay, well, that's, that's good. That's no, the hardest no. part of Lance. Yeah. So... Yeah, here we're going to see the special attack. It's going to be very important for Azarian. Uh, 140 is guaranteed, I know that. Yep, that's what we're looking for is 140. Uh, well, I think 139 is... 14, it's like a 15 and 16, 16 no 15. or something. 139. Yeah, okay. Or the 14 and 16. Well, we'll hit it. It's fine. Oh, I've hit worse. It's fine. I've hit 1 and 16. Don't worry. I believe. I'm holding my breath to to see um, the Thunderbolt on the Slowbro. And, oh, we hit the range on Dragonite. Easy game. Yeah. Easy game. Who, who, why should you? Why should anyone be worried? And also, yeah. that's on the bomb flow, bro. GGs to poke attacks. GGs to poke attacks. I think that's gonna be a, a th well, either a low three hundred nine or a high three hundred eight. I think low three hundred nine because you do have two Pokemon in the whole thing. Yeah, that sounds about right. And that's gonna be three points for poke attacks. I think that's is that four or five points for poke attacks? I think it's four. I am going to double check by actually figuring out where I do... have it I have it open. And oh. that would make four points. Excellent job, poke attacks. Um, you know, it was it was a bit of a race. I see uh oh good. Yozarian's actually going to 2C champ, which I like getting the bug, which is the old strats for that. Uh, I wouldn't even hate a save here. Not gonna save, we're just gonna go. Um, and now Yozarian's just going to finish up the fight on Champ. So, um, only one fight behind in the Elite Four, which isn't too bad at all. Um, and that's that's pretty spicy. So, we'll see Poke Attacks in the Hall of Fame and get the, the time. I'm looking at race time right now. I'm not. And uh, a little slow on the screen over here, but there's time. 308.57 there. I have 308.53 in the race time, so pretty close. GGs oh, to Poke Attacks. 308. Nice. That would be high 309. I guess my timing is a, a bit it's, off. It's about a minute um, from what I remember, but, you know, it, it can vary depending on how fast you mash and stuff. So Yeah, with, I think with two Pokemon, it's one minute and three seconds. Ah, okay. And 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 Pokédex did start a bit late, or like that's the, true. There was some delay differences. That's very true. Ah, okay. Makes sense. So Yazarian doing the old two P strat. You set up X special defense and X speed turn one. Eevee, if I remember, only really needs to plus four. Ooh! Ooh lived the crit. Every I think that's quick attack range though. So gonna heal. I mean. You you're 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 dead to air slash anyway, so you're going to you're going to heal anyway. That's true, yeah. So yeah, you you finish the setup here. Well, as long as nothing else, dumb, perfect. Okay. okay. I'm fine. I Everything's see we're joined. Uh, I see we're joined by Pokédex. GG's, welcome. Hi guys, thank you. Um, Sandy's in here, right? Sandy's our lovely tech person. Shout out to Sandy. Yeah. S Sandy, um. What is your favorite beverage? And can I Venmo you the amount for your for your next favorite beverage? <laughs> is that uh, for the, is that for I, the Lapras Strats honey for there? That, that was for Vermilion Shop Strats. Oh uh, yes. I that that was so handy for you. I have never done Vermilion Shop Strats ever. Um, but I was watching a run and somebody did it and Sandy passed around those notes and I'm like you know. I probably won't need these, but let's eh, just keep them in one of my way too many tabs on my computer, just in case. That's the only reason I want this one. <laughs> well, good. Well, GG's. And apparently if you do want to Venmo Sandy for their favorite beverage, uh, their, their Venmo is their Twitch username, so there you go. <laughs> okay. All right. I will, uh, I will make sure to uh, get up a nice little donation for a, for a fine beverage here in the not so distant um, yeah, that was a run. Um, I unfortunately for Yuz, I saw he uh, he was having some uh, some star you issues. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I did get fortunate there. Um, yeah, this was, I mean, this was not a great run by any stretch, but um, it's taking little things like, oh shoot, I only have two super potions um, after Blaine and being like, okay, I need to adapt and make this work somehow. Um, so, look, the time was not good. Uh, considering I almost PB'd last night, it, I'd go so far as to say it was really, really bad. Yeah. Uh, but, like, I'm, I'm proud of this one because, like, I adapted to what I needed to do. And, um, yeah, I played some serious Weenie Hut Jr. strats down the stretch uh, when I saw I had a little bit of a lead. But, um you know, just unfortunate for from for your Zyron. Uh, unfortunate for Allo, I saw he was having a time. Um, but yeah, some you know, some was... unfortunate mistakes that happened in this race. But you know what? Mistakes are going to happen in a marathon run like this, and better to happen early in the in the rounds rather than later, um, when more is on the line. So, he, and also huge GGs to Yozarian. Going to be finishing with a mid three twelve in just three twelve thirty six, just now. So all done there that's pretty rad um so po pokatex how are you feeling about next round you've got four points that's pretty fun well i know people were kind of anyone who was bidding on what was it uh four points today was kind of like ooh, looking at some of those people who have three ooh, don't want them in my pool nope 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 um sorry everybody i have introduced some chaos into the equation um it's going to be fun, I think. It is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I mean, you know, I can't can't miss television in the the six six point run, which I think I may be spoiling this, but I know that there are three runners that have six points. Um, oh my goodness! Like it's going to be Dayan, it's going to be uh, Amber, it's going to be Etchy. Like oh my. goodness. We have a listen. show that we need to do afterwards. Listen, listen uh, if you're paying attention, it's not actually spoilers, so don't worry about it. Also, I see that he's joined the call. GG's Yozarian. I would say I don't want to talk about it, but... Yeah, we'll you know what? It's like I, a I, brain a fart in an early morning run. And... Yeah, uh, you know what? It, it, You know what? Making mistakes, like I just said, it's better in this round than in later rounds, right? Yeah. So... I was trying to beat that median time at the end, but it didn't quite pan out. But oh well. very clean elite four, though. But that one C was beautiful. I will say yeah, you the, were flying through the there. game was very nice to me today. I just didn't play well. Like my and, catch route okay. was insane. Um, my EV was OK. My star was whatever. But races yeah. are intimidating, so I totally get it. Um, but you know what? I bet you feel really good about round three. Oh, God. How's that going to go? You're gonna <laughs> you know, one thing I want to point out, all three of us are new runners um, as yeah. of this tournament. And, and you're, you're doing great, all three of you. And it, it, it's a testament to the organizers of this tournament. How fun is this tournament? You know, I've, I haven't had two, two runs I'm, I'm really proud of there, but how fun is it that, you know, I was just lurking around last year watching these races and apparently I was not alone. Um, and then I got lured in. I've never streamed a video game in my life. And it's just, it's it's a testament to how fun of a speed run this game is. It's the best Pokemon speed run, bar none. And how great of a community we have here where I can just be like, hey, I'm some guy who lurked on the tournament last year. Let me ask you some questions about this run. Like... It's yeah. been a great community. It's great to be a part of, and I'm I'm really enjoying myself. The tournament's really fun. Um, our little um, let's go community is super nice in my experience. So it, I'm not I'm not competing this year, but I'm making a point to do commentary because it's just a fun place to be. There's there's lots of fun, exciting action that happens, and it's it's just a great time all around. Um, oh, and this sheet's been Everyone. updated already. I just checked. The median time for this round was 3.10.35. Um, so you beat that Pokétax. Yuzarian was not quite there, but that's okay. Next time you're going to do way over the median, I'm sure. Can't be worse. Yeah, I, <laughs> can't I do, be not worse. do not underestimate Yuzarian. He's, oh, no way. He's, he is every bit as good, if not better, of a runner than I am. Uh, 
he's another one of those players. If I'm sitting there with three points and I draw Yazarian, I am. I, I'm. I'm. I'm not having a good time. So you're you're scared. Yeah. Watch out. Okay, now I'm scared because I have a chance to now face Jason. I, I was going to say, I'm like, I'm looking at the points and there's a chance now that Crisis could get matched up. And that's pretty exciting. Oh, boy. All right. Um, do either of you have anything else you'd like to add before I pass it over to Sheep for the outro? Um, I do need to uh, Thanks, guys. Question, thanks, comms, everybody. Um, looking forward to seeing where the, the cards fall for round three. Yeah, normally I watch these back afterwards, but I don't know if I'm going to watch this one. So <laughs> <laughs> don't don't watch the clip for this race. Yeah, so. your, don't. Your, your, your first like one hour and 55 minutes are good. They were fantastic. Um, <laughs> and you know what? Just don't watch this clip and you'll be fine. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, all right. Everyone. Thank you so much to all of our runners. Shout outs again to Sandy on tech. Uh, hey, Sheep, what are we doing next? Yeah, what are we doing next? Uh well, the most the the the, the most the, the last thing we have to do for for round two um, is uh, to to get to draws for for round three. Uh, so that's what we're doing next, and um, we're going to do uh, as you saw, like the round the the draws for round two already. You have the slots. We'll we'll be doing that again, um, and I will be on that call. I'll be joined by Etiquette and uh, Thomas Patrick, so that will be a fun time. So everyone stick around. We'll go offline for just a short bit because we have to do some tech stuff, but we'll be back here really quickly.